This podcast is part of the Planet Broadcasting Network. Visit planetbroadcasting.com for more podcasts from our great mates. Red Hot Comic Book Movie News. Shooting up your butthole. The Weekly Planet. The Weekly Planet. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of The Weekly Planet, where we talk movies and comics and TV shows. My name is James, also known as Mr. Sunday, but with me, as always, is my co-host, Nick Mason. I'm changing the theme song next next year. Really? I'm doing it. So, so 2023. Shut up, Mason. Folks, well, we're, 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 <laughs> folks, we're rounding out 2021 with a bang. <laughs> Uh, in a, in the, the only way we know how, which is late. Uh, yeah, that's at true. At the start of 2022. Fine. Should I change it in 2023? Yeah. Should I give it another give year? It a, yeah, give it another year. I think that's going to give people enough time to, get used to, to ease into the idea that I'm going to change Clock's it. Clock's ticking, folks. Yeah, that's right. We'll do a countdown <laughs> every week. Uh, James, you, you started the episode. You, you start, you, and I'll tell you what, you, yeah. you're, you're down on this on this theme tune. But I, as I was saying earlier... As you play it, you play it through your headphones, and you were grooving away like you were listening to the music. Because I knew of it was Jeremy the, Renner. It was the, it was the last time. Oh, for basically. you? Okay, for, no, right. well, not the last because uh-huh. there's 52 more episodes or whatever yeah. mm-hmm. for the year. But yeah, I know that it's coming to an end. Yeah, so I'm going to drink it in while I can. I'm okay. also jazzed because it's a big episode this I week. I think you're going to groove away to that theme song so many times, a la a Jeremy Renner album, that you yeah. are going to have a new appreciation for it by the end of 2022. Like and a, you won't like want to change like it. Like a yeah. Jeremy Renner album? Yeah. yeah okay, like, cool. Yeah. Well, we'll see, won't we? Mm-hmm. Uh, we do uh, what we... What, that, it's a big rap. I'm so, I'm so excited. I'm <laughs> James, so it's okay because it's the end of the year. <laughs> so, you know, sure, we might be low on energy and stumbling over our own words, but it's the end of the year, so don't worry about it, folks. It's the that's, end of the year. That's right. If uh, this were the start of a year... <laughs> oh, my God. ...and we were just really just limping through... Can you imagine? Th- can you imagine the just the... Just the lack of momentum by the end of the oh, year. Oh, God. But, but, Horrendous. But, but we're at the end of the year, so it's fine. That's right. Uh, Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year, Normally folks. this episode happens uh, in December, but we're, there were some big releases at the end of the year, so we had to yep. push it back. Uh, we're going to be taking a break this month until late January-ish. Sure, yeah. I, mean, yeah. I haven't got a hard date on that yet. Two or three weeks. There's a best of going up next week. Royal Collins yeah. is ending mm-hmm. together. So, yeah, this will be the last episode for three to four weeks, whatever it is. I can't yeah. remember what it is. But, folks, if if you're – If you are if, if you're jonesing. If you're jonesing for a weekly planet fix, I mean, first or of drugs. all – Or drugs. Or drugs, sure, yeah, yeah. Do this instead of drugs. Oh, that's a good message, <laughs> actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. go you on, know sorry. How, don't, Side note. Sure. You know how on, like, old arcade games yeah. there used to be, like, that little pop-up that would say – Winners don't use drugs. Yeah. And it said, like, there was a quote by, like, this guy, William F. Sessions. Okay. And he was, like, the, the head of the DEA or something like that. Mm. I looked him up the other day, and it turns out after he left the DEA, he was, like, a, like a, um, like a defense attorney for, like, a drug kingpin. <laughs> <laughs> like, mere years afterwards. And I'm like, that's incredible wow. stuff. I yeah. would also argue that uh, a lot of maybe hyper-competitive uh, video game players might be on some kind of amphetamine, uh, some, yeah, kind of, yeah, yeah. Uh, some kind of, uh, you know, speed. Sure, and yeah. I, I'd imagine. I don't uh, know. Lots of pointy fingers. Probably they're high on adrenaline from playing. Fortnite? Probably playing Fortnite. So, yeah, this is our uh, yearly wrap-up where we go through basically uh, Raw Collings, uh, the, the great man, has put together a survey. We've got 3,000 people who have um, yeah. who have filled this in to talk about the best and the worst of what they've in, uh, enjoyed for the year. If you don't want to jump ahead to that, there are time codes. But there's also a bit of news up top. Well, I was going to say just before, if I, mm. I, I had half of a thought. Sure. But it's okay that I didn't finish the thought because, again, it is the end of the year and not, in yeah. fact, the start of the year, so it's fine. <laughs> What I was going to say is, if uh, you are, if, if you if you do want to hear more of us, you can sign up to BigSandwich.co. But also, both of us have appeared on a bunch of other people's podcasts it's over true. the last year. So we were both on an episode of Book Cheat. Yep. Uh, Dave Warnicky just got engaged, so congratulations, he did. Dave Warnicky. He's not listening to this. Um, <laughs> we were also on. I've been on. We banned him, by the way. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, we banned him from listening <laughs> to our podcast. Every platform. Uh, we just get. We've hired somebody to swat his phone out of his hand. <laughs> Uh, we were both on separate episodes of Confessions of the Idiots. That's right, yep. Uh, I was on an episode of Zach, uh, Mission Zach's Leguizama Rama. Yep. Uh, all sorts of stuff. All sorts of stuff. I think you just search for our names on Spotify or whatever. Yeah, it's all Come there. On. Yeah. I did a Star Wars Explained this week. Uh, we talked about the Book of Boba Fett, episode one. Oh. Uh, a live stream, which uh, we were on there, which we'll yep. also probably talk about in what we're reading. Mm. Uh, and look, and the content won't stop at BigSandwich.co over this break, will it, mate? Exactly anyway, right. we've got to keep moving. I was going to say, just before we get... Oh, my God. No, 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 this is the last thing. Okay, so William Sessions. 
Sessions, the American attorney and jurist who served as the United States District Judge of the United States District Court from 1987 to 1993. After leaving the public sector, uh, Sessions represented Semyon Mogilevich, international leader of the Russian mafia. That's normal, isn't it? It's normal, a normal thing to do. Winners <laughs> don't do drugs or whatever he said. I don't know. <laughs> Pretty great, right? Uh, so it's this, one of my faves. This week we've got news of The Fast and the Furious. Oh, big dramas. Uh, trailers ahoy for The Batman. Uh, the future of The Matrix. Uh, uh, some box office updates and maybe a big payday coming for, for Tom Us? Holland. Yes. Oh. Uh, bad news for DCEU fans potentially. Oh. And then we've got our yearly wrap-up again. Time codes are below. But we're, of course, going to start off with the death of a legend coming in two weeks shy of 100 years old. Yeah. Betty White, aged 99. Uh, didn't quite make it into 2022. Mm. Thank God, though, quite frankly, because does anybody really want to do this any longer? You know what I mean? I uh, Sure. <laughs> I think people should hang on, though. You know? Yeah, you're, right. you're absolutely yeah. right. But I will say this, like, what an, what an incredible innings, what an yep. incredibly, like, uh, a real A real life. Don Bradman of an innings, you know what I mean? You're not wrong. That's mm-hmm. true. His average was 99. Mm-hmm. That's, that's what you meant, I assume. Yeah. Just and he like, was on the Golden Girls. <laughs> just like <laughs> ahead the of... the sassiest one. <laughs> ahead of her times, you know, it's so... Well, Don <laughs> Bradman, they would always say. They'd always say that. Ahead of her time in like just in every era she was in, John, I mean, seemed yeah. to be always at the forefront of con- of uh, comedy and entertainment. Yeah. And just by all accounts an incredible person. Everybody that uh, that met her never got cancelled. Incredible effort. <laughs> it's true, yeah. And it's sad to somebody even do that these days. Yeah, right. Uh, I, Odds I, are stacked against you getting cancelled, <laughs> honestly. That's it. So, look, to be honest, we didn't get a lot of uh, Betty White in Australia. It was more kind of in the last 10 years that I was – Became familiar with yeah. her work. We did you know? get the Golden Girls. We did, yeah, but I, I didn't watch a lot of it. Did you watch a lot of Not it? Not really, no. Yeah, so there you go. We were too busy watching Keeping Up Appearances, yeah. which is the British Golden Girls, except it's not funny, Yeah, and I hated it. Right. Yeah. I was. I mean, in that era, I was probably busy watching um, the the late 80s, early 90s, uh, like low-budget superhero show Super Force. Okay, as sure. I previous, yeah, yeah. previously mentioned, I think. We each, which we is all, the Golden Girls. Of, I was going to say we had we all had our own Golden Girls. <laughs> yeah, but, mine was mine was Super Force. Yeah, but you know what? Did Patrick endure- McNee was in it. <laughs> he was. He was a computer. Uh, enduring legacy, you know, gone but not forgotten. Uh, that is for sure. Mm. And here's something else that is not forgotten, Mason. Uh-oh. Spite revenge. We're yeah. doing Fast and Furious news. Spite revenge or marketing ploy. We'll talk about it. Yeah. So uh, I, I might actually start with this uh, because... An apology. Apology. <laughs> to both men. <laughs> so basically a few uh, months back, uh, Vin Diesel issued a public uh, plea yes. for The Rock to reappear in the Fast and Furious finale. I'll stop you there. It was a uh, condescending public plea. Well, I, I think I figured I'd read it. <laughs> okay. Just to get everybody back, yeah, back right, to speed. Right. We covered it at the time. People are probably uh-huh. familiar, but just in case, he wrote on Instagram... In a picture that was fo- which was photoshopped, that he looked bigger than The Rock. Wow, which was very strange, mm. like poorly photoshopped as well. Yeah. Anyway, I think I made this joke at the time, probably in a Hobbit house. You know, with the with the <laughs> yeah, weird geometry. The weird geometry yeah. so, so he looks bigger. Absolutely. Uh, my little brother Dwayne. Awful. Yuck. Yuck. <laughs> the time has come. The world awaits the finale of Fast 10. As you know, my children refer to you as Uncle Dwayne in my house. Uh, There is not a holiday that goes by that they and you don't send well wishes, but the time has come. Legacy awaits. I told you years ago that I was going to fulfill my promise to Pablo. That's in Paul Walker. I swore that uh, we would reach and manifest the best Fast and Furious finale. That is 10. Do you think that's what happened, though? Do you think he, like, pledged an oath to Paul Walker? I don't know. Like, uh, anyway, uh, I say this... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> he stood at his drawing room window and he was like, "As Paul Paul Walker, I know you're up there. And if, Pablo. Pablo, Pablo, little brother Pablo, if you're out there, mm-hmm. I, I swear to make the best Fast and Furious uh, movie ever. And if you approve, give me a sign. And then just like a like a Subaru WRX just crashed through his window, <laughs> a la Batman. And he's like, yes, the true sign. Uh, I, I say this out of love, but you must show up. Do not leave the franchise idle. You have a very important role to play. Hobbs can't be played by no other. I hope that you rise to the occasion and fulfill your destiny. Uh, So (laughs) it's destiny. He he was. It is. Well, maybe not because so he issued a response via a CNN interview. The Rock just recently, and here's what he says. Said this is what he's saying. Listen up, Wolf Blitzer. (laughs) If in fact you still work here, (laughs) pass this along to Vin. I was very surprised by Vin's recent post. This past June, when Vin and I actually connected, not over social media, I told him directly and privately that I would not be returning to the franchise. I was firm yet cordial with my words. Cordial? I think either works. Yeah, Probably fine. depends where you're from. Uh, and said that I would always be supportive of the cast. And I'll, I'll be a glass of cordial here. <laughs> sure. 
With, I'll be a big. I'll be one of those big drums of cordial you get at a football game, like a school football game. Those are bad, though. It's kind of orange in it, but it's watered down. Those are bad. Yeah, but you have enough of it, you're fine. No, I like it. All right. I never liked it. Anyway, he's a big drum of he's cordial. Bit, yeah, uh, and I said I would always be supportive of the cast and always root for the franchise to be successful, but that there was no chance I would return. I privately spoke with my partners at Universal as well, all of whom were very supportive. As all they, the monsters. That's right. As they understand. <laughs> the mummy said. <laughs> yeah, good. Good for you, man. Stand your ground. <laughs> We're very supportive as they understood the problem. Vin's recent public post... Oh, was... I forgot he was in the Scorpion King. Yeah, he was, He would have friends he? at Universal. Yeah, totally. All the monsters. Uh, Vin's recent public post was an example of, of his manipulation. I don't like that he brought up his children in the post, as well as Paul Walker's death. Leave them out of it. We had spoken months ago about this and came to a clear understanding... My goal was, all along, to end my amazing journey with the incredible Fast and Furious franchise with gratitude and grace. It's unfortunate this public dialogue has muddled these waters. Regardless, I'm confident in the Fast universe and its ability to consistently deliver to the audience, and I truly wish my former co-stars and crew members the best of luck and success in the next chapter. That is, that is, I I was going to say extraordinarily elegant. I don't mean for the rock. I just mean th- this would have been, well th- this, this handled, feels yeah. like it's a writ- it's, it, was it a written statement or is it part of an interview? It's great, that- it says it's part of an interview, but I guess they could have set the interview over and they could have tweaked yeah, it right, you know, right, as right, often. Yeah. There's no audio of this. But I can sort of way. imagine just mm. the rock turning to camera and just spilling all of that out. Yeah. And everybody's like, wow. Did you rehearse this? And his this? eagles flying out. Did you rehearse this? Mm. I did actually. Yes. Yes. That's right. <laughs> Extensively. Now, now people have said, who, Who's saying things? The scuttlebutt on the internet. My yeah. friend Scuttlebutt. You know him? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What's his butt saying? What's his scuttling butt saying? <laughs> his scuttling butt, James, is saying <laughs> that he thinks that this is all part of a marketing ploy that will eventually result in The Rock appearing in yeah. Fast 10. But he- hearing this, yeah. it seems a little bit... Well, the fact that he was like... You brought up your children. And the you brought up Paul Walker. Walker's death. Yeah, yeah, Like, yeah. if this was a marketing ploy. It'd be a bit more vague, I think. Yeah, and I think also, look, there's a chance that maybe he'll come back regardless. Yeah, that right. That they can sort this out. Mm-hmm. But this, and look. With money. With money, exactly. Yeah. And everything's everything's marketing. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, I, I can't tell what leaks are marketing yeah. and what aren't at this point. And we also don't know a future rock movie's going to bomb. Because mm. maybe they some of them do. And then, I mean, obviously, Red Notice... 200,000 billion hours yep. watched, so that's not going to bomb. But maybe the next couple of things will, and he's like, well, i got to get I got to get back into a, a proven winner, so maybe he will. I be bought a uh, PlayStation VR this week just to watch Red Notice. Oh, I thought <laughs> I thought that was going to be a quote from The Rock. <laughs> like, some of my movies haven't done well, and I've, I've just bought a PlayStation <laughs> VR headset, so i got to pay for that somehow, so I'll be in Fast and the Furious 10. But you bought a Fast and Furious. You bought no, a, I you didn't really a, buy one. Oh, you didn't really buy one, Okay. <laughs> Yeah, but I don't. I don't think this is because of those two things. Yeah, yeah. The as you were saying that, I'm Walker, like, yeah. it'd, it'd be vague. It'd be like, well, I'm not going to do it unless Vin Diesel steps up and he, yeah. you know, he's he proves that he's a good role model for the yeah, kids then, or something yeah. like that. And then people would be, and then then Vin Diesel would go to a hospital of sick kids or something like that. Yeah. and do wheelies. <laughs> sure, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. Right, his unicycle. <laughs> He does that? Yeah. yeah he yeah. probably did some cloud school, I, I reckon. I bet he did, yeah. He probably did it all. So, look, I um, yeah, again, I, I wouldn't be surprised if he, if he does turn up. Uh, look, I think if what The Rock is saying and that Vin Diesel did, they had that discussion and he still posted it, yeah. that's a really shitty thing to do. Yeah, it is. Uh, but then again, is that true? You know, we don't, oh, yeah. we don't, presumably, but we don't, we don't know. Yeah, we don't yeah. have all the information. Maybe their marketing teams have said, you know what? Viciousness is what is what you 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 mentioned the death of Paul Walker. You mentioned that man's children. You put it in there. People love that stuff. And then when he comes in and, and is in the movie, yeah. everybody's going to cheer. Paul Walker. Yeah, they're going to put him in it, right? Yeah, I think he so. showed up at the end of the barbecue of the last one, didn't yeah, he? he did, His yeah. car pulled up. He's wox <laughs> crashing through the window. <laughs> That's right. Does Paul Walker come and crash? Hey, these hot dogs need some seasoning. And it just you see the tires smash onto the onto the barbecue. Just vroom, num, 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 num. he's one hundred percent going to be in it. Yeah. I would bet my balls on it. James has bet his balls on it. <laughs> bet, ding 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 ding. Uh, trailers Ahoy Mason. Uh, um, so soon after James bets his balls on it. <laughs> new, the new segments for twenty twenty two. They're lit, as the kids call it. Not cringe. That. Not cringe. They're lit. They're lit and cool. 
Uh, the Batman got a trailer. Uh, the Bat and the Cat trailer. Yeah. Uh, look, there's a bit. There's a bit of new footage and what we see and, yeah. and this and that. And I and I remember watching it and I I watch it again before this yep. podcast because I'm like, there's a thing in there that I that I wanted to bring up specifically. And what is it? And I couldn't re- quite recall what it was. And then I got to it. He's using the Batman '89 grappling hook gun. Oh, oh this, it's the pretty, very same. It's pretty close. That's I'm interesting. Saying. It's, it's the closest I've seen in a while. Let we me are going to talk about much. some Batman '89 in a bit. Uh, I also saw an interesting interview from Matt Reeves. It was oh, yes. on CNN. I don't know whether he rehearsed it or said it. Listen up, Wolf Blitzer. He said, <laughs> "If you still work here, <laughs> uh, The Rock said you might, and I wasn't sure. And I don't know who I'm directing this at. But here we go. He said, "What are the? You were in one of the Mission Impossible <laughs> movies. I think it was Ace. I thought but you were just Simon <laughs> Pegg in a mask. I think it, potentially. Yeah." Um, I saw uh, – actually, I think I read this on comicbookmovie.com. I don't know whether it was via them, but that's why I read it. Mm-hmm. That uh, Matt, Matt Reeves, uh, Matt said Reeves one of his, uh, the director said one of his influences for this movie was uh, Christine. Like, you know, that car, the car. coming through the fire – and like yeah, the into a barbecue. Into yeah, a barbecue. just crashing into a barbecue. Was yeah. The, yeah, that was what they Just took. a relentless kind of, yeah, okay, I can yeah. see that. You know, and we've seen we've seen in the previous trailer, you know, there's that, mm. that moment where the penguin thinks he's gotten away with it all. And then he and then he gets his car destroyed by the, right. by the Batmobile. By the Batmobile. He's That's... massively injured, it seems. He seems like he's massively injured. Uh, what I love about this is that it's coming out March 4th, which is so soon. Mm. I just I love that. <laughs> Pretty good, right? Yeah. Pretty good. Mm. The other thing is it's um it's a unless four- there's reshoots. That's true. Oh, I think it's done. Because it was supposed to be out July. Mm. I would last July, I think, yeah, yeah. from memory. Mm. Anyways, there's also going to be a 45-day 45 theatric, 45 theatrical window at this point. I see. So, okay. uh, But I think that could extend if it does well. Does well. Mm. As, uh, it probably will. Yeah. Because it's Batman. And Sorry, who? Because it's um, Bat- Batman. 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 No, I've heard of Batman. Batman. Oh, Batman. <laughs> Batman. <laughs> That's Robert. That's Robert. Like Robert Pattinson's like, yeah, I'm going to commit to the, I'm going to commit to the exercise regime. I'm going to commit to you know the character and the, yep, and the, the and eyeliner, the, the intensity and yep. all that sort of stuff and and all the you know. But I but I am going to call him Batman. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. <laughs> and you have to call me Batman, or you guys have to have to rename the movie. Batman. Batman. <laughs> so. Oh, God. It really is the start of the year, Mason. Yep. Uh, no more Matrix. How about this? Excuse me? <laughs> you heard me. I did, This is yeah. why I collider. Uh, James McTeague, who was a producer on this, uh, he also he directed V for Vendetta. He worked on a lot of the early Matrix stuff as well. Okay. He directed V for Vendetta. He did. Oh. Uh, I guess that's always a movie that I've thought about and gone... I've, it's, I've never considered anyone directing that movie. No, he directed it. it I think the, the Wachowski's name like is on it. But he's right. uh, anyway, yeah. So he's a second assistant director and whatever, and he's he's worked on a bunch of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, he's he's been a lot of lot of good stuff. But he um he said, look, for us, I think at the moment it's just the movie you've seen. We've got no prequel in mind. We've got no sequel in mind. We've got n- uh, no further trilogy. Oh, I think maybe there's a sidequel in mind. I think the Adventures of Pinboard Man and that weird flying stingray guy. <laughs> they, they're teaming up. They're teaming up Ratchet and Clank style. <laughs> or that other guy who's the, who's it was um. With some video game team up, guys. From uh, uh, Jack and Daxter. Jack and Daxter. It's probably like a Jack and Daxter kind of situation. Sure. Sully and Nathan Drake. Those two guys. Those two. Mark Wahlberg, and Tom Holland, Thomas yes. Holland. Mm-hmm. So look, I think if this had have done well, that's this conversation would be different. Yep. Uh, received well. Certainly, uh, our conversation would be different. Definitely. Mm-hmm. So look, uh, I think for now, yeah, it's probably dead. But I wouldn't say it's dead forever. No. You know? Because it, it's a thing that it's, it's an IP thing. that already exists. Yeah, apparently, so they're never going to let it go by the wayside. Apparently, they? that was true. That you know that that line in it about how like they're going to do it with or without you. That was very much true. Yeah. I think because there was going to be they were talking about doing like a Michael B. Jordan prequel a few years ago. Do you remember that? Is he was going to be Morpheus? Yeah, and that was probably before the Wachowskis. Or one of them ended up doing it, and because I know um, Keanu is like, I'm not going to do it without the Wachowskis. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So like, that's probably would you do it for with one Wachowski. Yeah, yeah I guess what, I would. Yeah, whatever, yeah okay, sure. Whatever, 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 whatever. Can yeah. I keep my John Wick hair? Yes. <laughs> so there we go. Not not surprised at all. Mm. Uh, but again, I'll tell you what, I have been enjoying the the Matrix discourse. Oh my it's god, there's so much discourse. There's a lot of discourse, mm. and I again, I'm wondering if I will, you know, in some time hence, be like, oh yeah, there's more depth to that than I thought. I yeah. mean, there was, yeah. But, you know, or will I appreciate it more? I guess the, the take that I cannot stomach okay, is that um, that it's intentionally terrible. Because I, yeah. one, I don't think it is terrible. Mm. I think there is. We talked about it last week. Yeah, but yeah. like, why? Why would you do that? Yeah. Like, why would you make an intentionally terrible movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can understand people saying 
uh, Lana has moved away from like highly choreographed action sequences. Yeah, okay, I can see that. And so that's not the important thing anymore. But here's the th- here's the thought that I had, James. Yeah. Um, I also think about things. There's no spoiler. Around. There's no spoilers for the Matrix in this. I don't think. Yeah. But the 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 idea that like when the Wachowskis made the original trilogy, they didn't think to themselves, okay. Uh, we've got some good ideas for fight sequences. Let's do all the choreography ourselves yeah. and just tell it to the actors on the day. Yeah. They went, okay, let's get the best of the best yes. out there and we'll bring them in and we'll give the actors the time to learn everything and train up and all that sort of stuff because mm. they're like, we trust this. And my feeling was with this new one, this is just a review of The Matrix again. Sure. Um, if, if the point of this one wasn't the action but was in fact a love story or a satire or something like that, yeah. my question would be, or my 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 thought would be, why don't you get in people who are really good at writing that? Wow! Like, why wouldn't you? Yeah. Like get get Phoebe Waller Bridge or whoever. Yeah. Or, or get you know if it's meant to be a. We'll sat- do it. We know human emotions, don't we? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we could do it. We know right? a semblance of human emotions. Hello, what's your name? My name's <laughs> my name's Neo. Oh. Do you think so? I you, feel a strong. Connection. So you're saying so you're saying to uh, <laughs> so you're saying to uh, cis middle class white men yes. should, should write the new Matrix. Movie. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, don't yeah, you think yeah. that's what people I think want? You're abso- yeah, yeah, you're absolutely right. But what I'm saying, <laughs> I think that's what like, some if, people want. If the idea was like this is going to be a satire and it's really going to hit hard, mm. like they should have got like you know women writers and black writers and gay writers and trans writers, yeah. comedy writers, and be like. All the all the Hollywood stuff and you know the Matrix yeah. and expectations around otherness in 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 this and and franchises and sequels yeah. and all that just go really hard because you know I would have loved to have come out of the Matrix and gone man this this movie re- like as a satire this really crushed it like yeah. this was really that'd be know, nice yeah that'd be nice wow. but I'm, well that's what I'm saying like you should they they should have brought in the best and not the guy who wrote Cloud Atlas. <laughs> Which is what they did. I guess oh, they're friends. I don't know. They're probably it's, friends. It's, it's it's David Mitchell, and I'm like, oh, okay. but not that David Mitchell. But not that David yeah, Mitchell. They should have got the other David Mitchell. Should have got two David Mitchells. You know? David Mitchells. Mm. David's Mitchells. They should have got two David's Mitchell. <laughs> Uh, anyway, that's my that's this no, week's I, I, I really like the idea of that. I think that's interesting. Mm. But I think it'd also be a hard thing to let go of. Oh yeah, definitely. You know? Yeah. And, and if you yeah. work with the if you've worked with these, because there's the three writers were Lana Wachowski, this author of Cloud Atlas, the mm. original novel, and a guy from Sense8. And I'm like... Sense8's that's good, isn't it? People like it. People like it. And yeah. I'm like, well, why wouldn't you work with those people if you've had success yeah. before and et cetera? But I'm just like, you should have brought in a writer's room, maybe. We could have done it. Yeah. Anyway, that's that's my thought. That and no action. But again, it's like, mm. it is the... Again, this is just a review of The Matrix again. Mm. But, you know, that's also probably a movie they never could have made. Like if no. they went, you know, it's a satire and there's no action in it. Yeah, and we're Warner making Bro- fun of you openly. Yeah, Warner Brothers will be like, nah, yeah. we won't give you any money for that. So. <laughs> That's it. They should have just made it like Space Jam, new Space Jam also, yeah. which it kind of was important. Well, here's another thought I had. Here's another. I'm, James, I'm really good at thoughts that no one would ever make in wow. a billion years. How about this? Yep. Lana Wachowski announces that she's making a movie. Yep. And it's just like a little kind of small budget indie movie and it's got Keanu Reeves and Carrie Ann Moss in it and people are like, oh, it's been nice to see those two together and they're like, you know, one's a video game designer and he's and life is dragging him down and one's a suburban mom and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And then you go into the cinema and you're like, is this Matrix? Yeah. Do you think they'd be able to hide that though? Um, maybe. Yeah. I, I, you know. Depends how low key they kind of. Yeah, yeah. But again, the, uh, the, the Warner Brothers had never given the money for no. that. So, they did know. give them $200 million for this though. Yeah, yeah. Sure. <laughs> That's an interesting amount of money. Yeah. Speaking of big money, Spider-Man uh, No Way Home is Sony's biggest movie ever, turns out. Um, like ever, really big, ever? Yeah, ever, ever. Hmm. Most profitable and so on. Uh, but off the back of that, Variety have learned that Tom Holland is going to earn a low eight figures uh, for his next for his next big project. Now that's, that's like tens 10. of millions. Okay. Yeah. Anywhere between like 10 and 20. Uh, for opposed, his next project. Even if, if it's, it's, a, no, even if it's, it's Chaos a, Walking Tip. No, no, if it's a big thing. So if it's like, if it's a smaller mini project, it'd be yeah. like, between like one and four, and he gets okay. apparently about one million a movie now. Currently, he gets four million. He apparently got four million for this latest Spider Man. Here's a question for you: Yes, do you think that he's an actor that deserves that kind of money? I mean, nobody deserves that amount of money, <laughs> but uh, I think as <laughs> that's I think as Spider Man, that's how we're going into 2022. Nobody deserves this <laughs> amount of money. No, but I think as a, as as Spider Man, yes, he does because he is Spider Man, and that franchise now largely rests on his shoulders. What's Not interesting entirely, though. But maybe a newer thing or a different thing, maybe not necessarily. Look, without, without spoiling Spider-Man No Way Home, because yeah. I think we're still in the don't spoil Spider-Man No Way Home zone. Yeah. I wonder, like, is that is that is his new salary, is that derived from the fact that this particular movie did so well? 
And if I yes, think it's a number of things. But yeah, yeah. And, but it, and if yes. Also, the thing about that movie is I think a lot of people went with the expectation that certain things were happen or going to happen or yes. certain people were going to be in that movie. Yeah. So is that entirely – like I think I think a lot of people – a lot of people's favourite parts of that last movie yeah. didn't have all that much to do with Tom Not Holland necessarily. But I, right? Look, and I don't, I don't think we probably talked about this enough in the review, but I thought he was very good in it. Hmm. Uh, yeah, that's a great question. And look, yeah, there's some good emo- there's some good real emo- in a in a superhero movie. Yeah. There's some good real emotion in there. I guess like if that had have gone to Asa Butterfield, whatever his name is, or somebody like a different actor, one of the other ones who were up for Asa it. Asa Butterfield. Yeah, he's a real guy or something like that. He's in like that sex e- sex education show. Oh yeah, okay, sure, is sure. That sure. his name? You think of Gillian Anderson, season one? I am. It is Asa Butterfield, real okay. real person. So if that had gone to like him, right? Yeah. Do you think this movie would have made less money with somebody else? Oh. I mean, unless they were awful and they did yeah. an awful real life thing, I think the <laughs> yeah. numbers probably would have been about yeah, the same. Yeah, I agree. He was, yeah. And then again, that's not to diminish his work because uh-huh. I think he's a very good Spider Man. Mm. But anyway, if you can get ten million, a very yeah, good man. Yes, by all accounts, yeah. If you can get ten million, you should. Yeah, <laughs> you should right. absolutely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, and in Hollywood. You, and if you feel like giving some of it to us, you should do that. Yeah. You should give some of it to us. I think, think that's an open invitation. Any any <laughs> uh, celebrities out there who are making eight figures and happen to listen to this, yeah. we will take some of that money if you want to give it to us. We love that. Yeah, yeah. Because I think it's interesting that there Even are. If you don't want to, we'll take some of it. <laughs> that's right. This is a threat. 2022, <laughs> we're doing threats now. <laughs> I think it's interesting because, you know, there are a number of Marvel uh, actors who, mm-hmm. you know, gone on to do other properties that have not been as successful. Yes. And it's maybe like their payday that they get within that universe sh- shouldn't equate necessarily to things outside of it. What you're saying is that uh, if if you're in a Marvel movie, you should get paid in Marvel script, like Marvel bucks. <laughs> yeah, and you can only, only spend at Disneyland. You can only spend at Disneyland. <laughs> you can stay at their resorts. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And I, you can cut any line you want. Yeah. That's, that's but the, I think, you know, the idea of a movie star is almost entirely dead. Yeah. You know, a, a single person cannot bring in a crowd necessarily anymore, but an idea or a concept mm. or a property yeah. combined with a person can, wow. you know? That's like a script for a Batman movie, <laughs> just like. Like I think Robert Pattinson is probably worth like ten million a movie. Yeah, I'd say. Let's say at this point, you yeah. know what I mean. Mm-hmm. But and there are others that I think like I think Brie Larson is probably worth ten million at, mm-hmm. at, a, at a like because of the indie stuff she's done before and she's like proven herself. I'm sure there's people who maybe don't agree with that because a lot of people I don't know if you know this, Mason. They mm-hmm. they're upset at Brie Larson still probably. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can I can understand that. Yeah. Anyways, we did that Ghostbusters review. She's not in it, but I bet there was a comment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of. Um, they put that 2016 thing back in the box set. Apparently. Oh, did they? Okay, right. Yeah, apparently. So there's Just a, taped it to the side. There's the ghost box. Maybe she's not worth $10 Because even you look at like Robert Downey Jr., like outside of Iron Man, he yeah. does that, that weird animal movie. Yes. It bombs. It costs $200 <laughs> million. He did that Manimal remake. <laughs> he did Manimal. <laughs> Do you know, like, is he worth that outside of Iron Man? You know, great question. Like maybe for he, maybe for a Sherlock Holmes, be, yeah. yeah, maybe for a Sherlock Holmes, he is. Yeah, mm-hmm. but maybe not for a newer thing. Like, yeah. is Chris Pratt worth that for? Like, he's a pretty big draw. But then again, he's in like big properties, like he's in Jurassic World and yeah, and whatever. Well, exactly. Like, so I, would, I would have said going going off the MCU and like previously, you know, he was in Kiss Kiss Bang Bang and etc. Mm. And then I'm like, oh, it's great to see Rob Downey Jr. in these movies post. MCU, I would have been like, I'll see Robert Downey Jr. in anything, but I didn't yeah. see Doolittle. Exactly. So it's 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 for and that's me, the only thing he's done. Yeah, maybe for me, it's a combination of you know the the actor and yeah. the genre they're in or the role. Or that's what I'm talking you know. about. But I mean, for a lot, I feel like for a lot of sort of post MCU people, the roles generally are very good in the sense that they don't need the money. Yes, or, or they don't need the money, and also I think a lot of people want to break out of whatever you know. Uh, typecasting they've been put into. So like Chris Evans, yeah. he doesn't need the money, so maybe he'll take a, a pay cut. But he, you know, he did Knives Out, yeah. where he's like the polar opposite to to Steve Rogers. Yeah. He did that uh, Apple TV crime show where he's defending Jacob. Yeah, it was very good. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. And and probably something else. You he's know, probably done another movie. Probably done another, at least one more movie. Yeah, he cameos in his friends' movies. I think. Oh, well. that's he's doing. That's a lot what of he's that, been yeah. doing at the moment. Yeah. Uh, I've actually lined up Mason because you're not going to be able to hear this because we're doing it's it's a new segment of the show. Oh, I've decided to uh, it's, it's for the new year. It's called Grain of Salt. Okay, and then off the back of that, yes. Are you, are you doing, is it a little sprinkling sound or something? 
There we go. It's the grain of salt. The click. Oh, okay. the, I think it was like an ASMR thing because okay. like the guy was like shaking it at the start. Oh, I'm like, okay. I don't want you to shake it. I want you to do the thing. Anyway, okay. he did it. It's done. <laughs> Can we think of a different ASMR thing? Like maybe maybe it should be called rumors and somebody wetly slapping their lips together. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like eating sounds. Okay. I'm not against ASMR, but I do not like that wet mouth thing. <laughs> I do not like it. So not wet mouth rumors. <laughs> sure. Let's call it wet mouth rumors. All right. <laughs> Lip smacking rumors. Oh, that's good. <laughs> yes, please. Anyway, oh, the, 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 the new segments are coming thick and fast. There's this, the thing we said earlier about your balls, whatever it was. Oh, James Betsy's balls. Betsy's balls on a thing. Yeah, yeah, this is great. All right, what, anyway. ha- what happens? What happens in w- lip smacking rumors? So basically, it's a rumor, un- an unsubstantiated rumor that is of, of interest. I feel like yeah. I should put these things in here because. I talked about this last week where people were like, that's a rumour or whatever. Yeah, a lot of this is rumours. A lot of this is just like, isn't this interesting? Yeah, yeah, so, you know, yeah. most people, to be fair, most people just listen and just yeah. don't give a fuck. Remember the other week we were like, remember that Remember that Fleetwood Mac album that's got landslides on it? People were like, oh, that's just rumours. Yeah, we know. <laughs> we know that it is. It's their best album. It's one of the best albums ever made. It might just be. Yeah. Anyways, this is why. God, I hope Landslides is on that. <laughs> is it? That album, I think it is. You're going to like a I'm right. fairly confident. Would you bet your balls on it? No. No. <laughs> It might be like the one, the one like mega hit selling single that is not on, not on there, not on rumors. Yeah, well, I don't know. The anyway, chain is on there. That of course the chain, it is. Chain, yeah. This is via our Twitter user. My time to shine. Hello it says I don't usually tweet about DC stuff, but I have a friend who has just seen the Flash, the upcoming Flash movie. It's finished ish, yeah. probably. And I guess this is also a, a spoiler alert, so you can jump ahead. There's time codes. Uh, and the movie will erase every movie Snyder has done. Man of Steel, Batman v Superman, and Justice League never happened now. Erased from continuity. Affleck and Cavill are both gone. Supergirl, uh, now the main soups of Earth. Keaton is Batman, and Batgirl will become the new Batman after her film. Yeah, you know what? I, d- I didn't see this particular tweet, but I think I did see yeah. something on Twitter, if we're talking lip smack and rumors. We and are. it was some screenshots apparently translated from another language into English yeah. that were... That it's another were, language? I mean, look, well, let's just go with it. <laughs> okay. of this. And it was it was to the effect of it. It was some plot summary that had been released in another country for, okay. for a streaming service or something like that, and they'd, it had been translated in. And it, it, was, it was that. It was like Supergirl will be the new, you know, Superman-style yeah. character in this universe. And there was also something about the Flash goes back in time and... Prevents Steve Trevor from being killed, I think. So he's alive again? So he's alive again. So Wonder Woman 84 doesn't happen as well. Okay. So I was like, but I, yeah, but <laughs> I mean, good. But uh, it's interesting that after saying, you know, okay, well, the, these movies are just going to stand on their own. We're going to have a Batman movie or a Superman movie or a Flash movie or what have you. And they're not necessarily interconnected. They're just movies for you to enjoy if you if you yeah. want to see these characters. It's it's very interesting then that this rumor seems to be saying, no, we are going to go into the continuity of these previous movies and and take it out of continuity in story. Yeah. I think that's sort of fascinating and probably unnecessary. But I wonder if that's a result of maybe like No Way Home. Yeah, I mean, maybe I, it's too close. To, it, it might be too close. I but mean, maybe also maybe the buzz in that industry was like, yeah. "No way, home's going to blow people's balls off." Well, the, so. I've I've got a few thoughts on this. First of all, I don't think Affleck was coming back after this, regardless. No. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I think they had to do something. Also, yeah. it seems like they don't like Henry Cavill. Like, oh, <laughs> this person here, yeah. No, no, okay. not this person. The, the Warner Brothers. Oh. They're not interested in making movies with him as Superman anymore. Interesting. It seems. Is, do you th- but do you, do you think that's a Henry Cavill thing, or do you think that is a? I think it's a Superman. It's a super- well, I think it's, it's his Superman specifically. Right. Thing. But I again, I know we've we you know we've discussed this to death. But I think it's in, I think it is a case of we don't know we don't know what to do with Superman. I think they've also crunched the numbers yeah. on these DC movies, specifically the Snyder trilogy. Yeah. And they've probably thought we can get more people into theaters if we establish a new continuity right. and bring in a new Batman or an old Batman in this case and a new Superman figure mm-hmm. as opposed to bringing back these old characters of movies which like there is a very strong and vocal fandom. Yes. But like I don't think any of my friends could name who Batman or Superman is. At the moment. Mm. Like they could probably do like most of the Marvel characters. I was in who the actor is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah. And that's not a slide on Henry Cavill because I like his. Mm-hmm. But they know Robert Downey Jr. Like they know Chris Evans. Yes. You know, but mm-hmm. the thing is also this isn't a complete erasing uh-huh. of the Snyder stuff because Aquaman is his invention. Well, that that version. Oh, yeah. Wonder Woman's from his film. Mm-hmm. Like even like Shazam, that movie is an extension of the 
DCEU. That's true. It's got a bunch of references. Superman's in that Superman's movie. in it, yeah. So, I don't know. It's, it doesn't seem like... Have you seen that tweet? I think it was by the director of Shazam. He put it up. Mm. And it was that clip from the end of Shazam where Superman sits down and you obviously don't see his face. But then he's effects team or whatever of just it's it, it, it pans up and Superman just has an extraordinarily long neck. <laughs> yeah, like it just goes forever. Yeah, because David F. Sandberg, he's done a lot of like, he's like a special effects dude as well. Oh, he's so done he like a bunch. He does YouTube short films and stuff. Yeah, like right. He still does them. And the thing is as well, like the idea of that Keaton's the new Batman mm-hmm. and now and Batgirl is going to become the new Batman and Supergirl is the new Superman of Earth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The other thing is there is a Batman, another Batman. It's Robert Pattinson. Ooh. And there is another Superman. That's like JJ Robert Batman. Robert Batman. Like JJ Abrams is currently working on with Tana Hesey Coates yep. another Superman. That's true. So they will still exist. Pattinson, it seems, is in his own universe, but we don't know what's happening with the new yeah. Superman at this point. Mm-hmm. But I think that's so I don't think it's all gone, but anybody who's a Snyder fan I is not if going they're to establishing like this. because like, you know, as we've mentioned in, you know, often uh the big two comic book universes, they will do a sort of a, a, a ser- like a like a limited series or they'll do an event that is set slightly into the future. Like DC did one recently called Future State. Yeah. And sometimes they'll go, you know, this is actually, we're, we're, this is definitely going to happen. Don't, mm. they, we're actually going to move this universe forward a bit. And then they just don't. They yeah. go, uh, now it's actually, it's actually just a potential future. Don't worry about it. Superman and Batman here, they just, it's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't panic. Stop, keep buying books. But they're waving. It's they're fine. Waving at you. They're waving at you specifically. Um, but I wonder if maybe they're going with, you know, people responded well to, you know, the, the Snyder Nightmare universe, yeah. you know, which is a potential future. Maybe this is like, I mean, this could very well be the DCEU, but, the, but you know, 20 years down the line. Yeah. And you could go, okay, well, that... This, and, and you could even say that's why Batman is old now mm. because it's it's the future of that universe and that's why Superman Superman went into space like he often does in these future scenarios. Who's going to protect the universe? Well, Supergirl's Supergirl, here, whatever. Yeah, you know, yeah. So maybe that's it. Maybe it's a. You might be right because then you can make it. You can you can make it weird and dark, but not in not in a Snyder way. If you don't want to, yeah, you know? absolutely. Uh. It's interesting. I had another thing to say, and I can't think of it. Because you blew it out of my brain. Because with a weird neck, with thing. your now nonsense. You can, now you can just think. Of, now you're just thinking of Superman with a super long neck. <laughs> oh yeah, the other thing is mm-hmm. go on. None of this is definitive in the long term. Yes, I mean we know that recently. Again, no spoilers for No Way Home, but there are some villains and potentially others who come back. Yes, universes that are dead mm-hmm. are brought back into existence. Yes, so I think even if this is the erasing of these characters, uh-huh. give it a few years and we'll yeah. just, and we'll just yeah. see. Yeah, because we'll then, just see, won't we? Like, imagine in five, ten years' time, there's, you know, there's the new Superman that J.J. Abrams is doing, there's Supergirl, and they bring back Cavill. Yeah. And then they do Brandon Routh as whatever, sure. as the Chris Reeve, his version as well, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. Like, I think the new thing, the lesson is probably, that, that, that is probably learned from No Way Home is like, I just bring back everyone. Yeah. That's what people want to see. And that's a that's not why that movie is good. No. It's partially why it's good. Yeah. But, uh, but it, yeah. again, it, uh, one of the the reason I think that one works well is because that is it is a, a novel thing that hasn't been done before in a yes. lot of ways. And if they just and and this has been said on Twitter as well recently, that might be kind of a dangerous precedent of yep. like, oh, imagine if uh, I think I saw one that was like, oh, imagine if we see Chris Evans and he comes back in the MCU, but then he's actually the Human Torch. It's like, I mean, I guess, okay, sure, yeah. but like the the novelty will wear off fairly quickly, I yeah. think. But the but if, if too many wheels get set in motion right now, mm. maybe that's all we get for five years. But what do we know from Hollywood? They always learn the worst lesson. They learn the worst lesson. <laughs> so, yes. So, yeah, there you go. I, I would just, If it was me, I'd just make a good movie. That's yeah, what I, I reckon would I would too, actually. Is that what yeah. you would do? Yeah, yeah. but I would, mine would be slightly better than yours and slightly, un, slightly under budget. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'd, so even if I put in a little bit more effort, at the end of the day, your raw talent... Would, yep. would Trump and my financial acumen, <laughs> the two things, <laughs> put them up against each other at the box office. They'd be like, "These are pretty yeah. the same, but slightly slight less money on that one." Can't fight that. Can't yeah. fight that, can I? <laughs> That's right. Can't fight fate. Mm. Well, well, well. If it isn't our yearly wrap up, and not of this year, of the previous, previous year, year. Mm-hmm. we wouldn't have much to say. Other than, you know, I'm getting a lot of, not a lot, but some comments on the, you know, the biggest bombs and hits videos. Oh, yes. mm-hmm. They're like, oh, actually, that movie has now, it made like $3 million like since. So it's okay. actually now broken even. I'm like, okay, fuck you. Look, obviously, <laughs> I didn't <laughs> record it the second mm. that 
You should update it though. I should update it. Yeah. I should. You know what? My problem is I didn't say that up top. That's true. I think I did say it. You almost certainly did. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. Numbers are subject to change. Disagree. Anyways, we're going through the best and worst of 2021. We're giving out a series of awards. That's and right. thank you to everybody out there who listens to this episode every year and pretends it has some relevance to anything. It means so much to us. It means a lot know to that us. You, and you, and you, I was going to say, not entertain. Was, yeah, you entertain the idea that... <laughs> You know, <laughs> you're humanist. You're humanist. Thank yeah. you. That's the word. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, three thousand people have voted. Is it exactly three thousand? Apparently, that's the number oh. that's right here. Again, well, let me tell you, I love all them three thousand. Me too. Thanks, Mason. That's one really each. good. So why don't we why don't we kick things off with the best Marvel series of the year? We're gonna mm. we're gonna have a bit of a discussion, a bit of a back and forth. That's Not right. all of these I've thoroughly thought about. Sure. So um, some you've ne- not thought about at all. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, I'm just going to kind of set, like f- feel my way through for this. Like okay. this first one, I've got a pretty good idea on. But uh, the best Marvel series of the year, we've got Falcon and the Winter Soldier, we've got Hawkeye, we've got Loki, Mm -hmm. we've got MODOK, we've got WandaVision, we've got What If. Yeah. Uh, For me, it would be a tie between, uh, not a tie, uh, (laughs) these, my favourites were Loki. For me, it would be a tie between Falcon and Winter Soldier. (laughs) It would be between Loki and WandaVision. Interesting. And I think Loki squeaks ahead because I enjoyed the way that Loki wrapped up like one division was flying in the sky and shooting stuff. Can I, I can I ask you this question? Yeah, is this because I mean, what what is interesting about the two that you've mentioned, and mm. I was going to mention these two specifically, is that they both have wider ramifications for the Marvel universe going forward. I don't I don't think it's just that. I yep. think it. Uh, I mean that that but, is. But maybe that's why they are better. Yeah, like maybe you can more, maybe maybe, yeah. maybe more care or like you know. Maybe maybe they they seem more memorable or more exciting or what have you because they put more attention on it because they knew they would have larger ramifications. Like I enjoyed Falcon and Winter Soldier a lot. Yep. I enjoyed Hawkeye a lot. I didn't. I watched not some enjoy of any of these. Yeah, same. Um, some of Modok. <laughs> uh, but like Falcon and Winter Soldier and Hawkeye, they feel like kind of like smaller standalone yeah. movies, and and they didn't they didn't like and they had ramifications, but they didn't. They're not really going to move the needle in terms of like what happens in the next phase of the Marvel yeah. Universe. Because at the end of Falcon and the Winter Soldier, um, uh, Sam Wilson became Captain America, at, which is you know important. Again. But also he was like, and I'm going to hold all you politicians to account. And I'm like, what politicians? <laughs> Who's the president? <laughs> it doesn't matter. We never see them, so it doesn't. We see him. He was the president. There was the president. A, sometimes a guy gets kidnapped, and he was the president. Yeah. Sometimes the president. They haven't done the president as a scroll yet. Sometimes I think, like, maybe in some, maybe once Obama was president in some of these movies. Oh, maybe. I can't tell. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, uh, side note, did you watch the episode of uh, Some More News on YouTube? Oh, the Marvel one, the I did. Marvel yeah. One. Oh, that's really right. You if, people, if, people, if people haven't seen it, uh, 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 satirical news program, Some More News over yeah. on YouTube, did an episode where they ran the news as if it were in the Marvel Universe. It yeah. goes for like an hour and something. It's really good. Yeah. It's super funny. It is. It's very good. They, they do good From work the perspective of normal people who have absolutely no idea what's going on in the Marvel <laughs> Universe, and why would you? That's because they don't tell you anything. Yeah. But I reckon for me, oh, gosh. I, I think for me it's Loki. Yeah, for me I think it's Loki as yeah. well. And, it, you know, it, it, it established or re-established the multiverse in the Marvel yeah. Universe. Great seeing Tom Hiddleston. There's a crocodile in it. Is it. There is a crocodile in it. And just or an alligator. Big, big, this is what I want from, like, the, the, to, to me, what happens? The stuff that happened in Loki is what makes Marvel Marvel. Yeah. on a cosmic level, just big silly. That's what stuff. I was going to say. I love big silly stuff. Yeah, just a big cloud monster, and at the end of time, who eats all of time or yeah, something. That's fun. Pretty good, but that, but at the same time, like on for me, honorable mention Hawkeye because I just had a, yeah. a good fun Christmas time. I it's thought. All right, isn't I it? think I think that one started out slow. And yeah. I think, and and you shouldn't have to say this about a TV series, but I think maybe the first two episodes maybe dragged. I th- again, I think I think Hawkeye to me would have been better if they went six episodes here. They all all are in one go, yes. and you could have just churned through them and gone. That was this that particular series because it went week to week. Uh, kind of lost momentum a yep. little bit from time to time. We didn't even mention what if, and I, and again, that's uh, I mean that has probably wider implications as well. That does have wider yeah. implications, and 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 I that's feel hit like, and miss for me. Yeah, you know? but yeah. and that sort of I feel like that sort of spun off from Loki. Yes. you know the the invention of the multiverse. Then we do that, but again, the animation I thought was great. Yep, a uh, lo- lot of fun. Some of those episodes probably unnecessary. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, you know, a lot of them are in their own self-contained, et cetera, and whatever. That's true. And what did the listeners say? Well, Loki came in at 43%, followed by WandaVision at 25%, then Hawkeye 22 then What If 5.2, and then Falcon Winter Soldier at 4.7. Oh. And I guess after that we had um, MODOK. So, yeah, interesting stuff. Falcon and Winter Soldier, still good fun. 
But it, I agree. It, but also, I think I think it was uh, I think it lost some momentum just because it was came after one division. Yeah, and there wasn't a lot of you know big surprises to be had in it, and it was kind of you know it's, it was kind of mundane. Yeah, but it was nice to see him team up. You know, I agree. Mm. Uh, next up, we've got best Marvel property, and this is overall. Yeah, right. So I've got it. So to go through the list, well, I think I put this one in because I'm an idiot. And it's just, there's a bit of overlap here. We've got One Division, Falcon Winter Soldier, Black Widow, Loki, Shang Chi and Legend of the Ten Rings, The Eternals, Hawkeye, Spider Man, No Way Home. And I'll, I'll, the result was uh, the number one at seventy four percent was Spider Man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then Shang Chi at eleven yeah. percent, and then Loki, and then it's just like everything else. Look, I made I made some uh, I made some hay with regards making fun of Spider Man No Way Home. Sure, and I was critical of it because uh, that's what I love to do. Yep. But I think I reckon it probably was for a lot of reasons. I think it might have been. I think it is the best property. I mean, and, you like big and silly stuff. Don't I do you? like big and silly stuff, and also just as a. Like Endgame, yep. it is amazing it happened at all. Yeah. And, that, and that, it, that, it, that it wasn't complete nonsense garbage. Yeah. But I thought it was good quality and good fun. I think in terms of like just a general crowd pleaser, yep. really like satisfying, good moments, uh-huh. it's, you're probably right. Like it yeah. feels kind of – like I'd love to be like <laughs> – like pick something maybe more like uh, – Intellectual, sure. Not, I mean, is any of this like super intellectual? Anyway? Are the Eternals are super intellectual? <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. Because it's slow and ponderous, but and I think it's intellectual. Let's just, just <laughs> let's just, it, it lets you sit at it. Let let you sit there in your own mortality for a bit, <laughs> and sometimes and you just sit in the cinema in the dark and you're like, oh my god, I left the oven on. I would say, like, honorable, honorable mention, uh, yes. I think Black Widow was good. Mm-hmm. I, I, look, it probably wasn't better than Shog G, uh-huh. but was it, it I, better than Loki? No. Mm. I think Loki would probably be my second. Yes, yeah, close second. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it says Collins would be at least best. So Black Widow, Eternals, Falcon, Winter Soldier all have less than ten votes. Well, so there you go. Out of three thousand. Yes, uh, we're not all doing comic book properties as well, but this stuff up top. A lot yeah. of this is comic or book. Or remind properties. me before we get to best best movie of the year. Yep, I'm going to do my find and replace award. <laughs> okay, good. Oh yeah, yeah. Gonna do that. Absolutely, yep. please. Uh, Which for people who don't know, yep. I'll, actually I'll explain it later. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's yeah, a bit yeah, of yeah, just people gonna love it. Best DCEU property, which Oops. might not be what that world is called. Smaller field. Number one, yes. The Suicide Squad. Yes. Number two, The Snyder Cut. Mm. Uh, it's going to be a bigger year for DC in 2022. Yeah. Uh, look, as someone who did enjoy The Snyder Cut, in yeah. talking of if we're, if we're talking big and silly and, mm-hmm. <laughs> and over the top. And, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and also, I guess, like very serious, which could also be fun. Yeah. Like take a take a big dumb thing as seriously as you can. I would have look. I would have. I would have said in another year where there was no Suicide Squad, this would have won. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, because there's one movie. Look, <laughs> I think it was the Suicide Squad. Yeah. But, uh, again, like I would have thought, just looking at these, I would have been like a Suicide Squad for sure. But like the, you know, you're right. It is. There's a lot to like in Zack Snyder's. I agree. Uh, Justice League. Uh, also, that uh, I don't know if I mentioned this. It got eighty percent as opposed to Snyder cuts twenty percent. Okay, There's right. some other mentions here because people could actually put in their own thing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, Doom Patrol, Superman, and Lois Titans, or something might have won. James did this question. Don't blame Collins. He's cool and handsome. That's true. I did put it in as a joke initially because I'm like, because there's only one DC movie this year. <laughs> for Squad. And then after I did, I realized, oh no, there's two. Yep. This joke doesn't work at all. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's okay. That's. So what's happened here? This is a typo that's become a real thing, yeah. essentially. Okay, great. What do you consider, Mason, yes. the best comic book movie of the year? Oh. Wow. Oh. Uh, so we've got Black Widow, Return, all the things that we named, and also Venom 2. Yep. And Zack and Zach Snyder and whatever. I, I mean. I, re- I really like the Suicide Squad same. as well. And look, Spider-Man No Way Home is on here, like I said, in- very enjoyable. Yep. Just a, just a straight-up super fun comic book movie. Uh, but the, I think... And the Suicide Squad again. It's not entirely an, an original storyline, but uh, I, think I think it might be the Suicide Squad for me. For me, it is also the Suicide Squad. Huh? Uh, just just fun and violent and yeah. silly. And there's that scene where uh, Peacemaker and uh, and uh, the the other guy, Idris Elba's character, yep. they just kill that village full of <laughs> soldiers. Yeah. And it turns out they're all on the same t- all on the same side. It also felt like, and I, I think this is more a result of the pandemic. It felt like a real movie, mm. whereas Spider Man looked like it was filmed in a cupboard for a lot of it <laughs> yeah. because it had to be kept under wraps. Yeah, and it was also filmed during the pandemic. Yeah. So, like, how do you how do you bring in certain characters? Put them in a cupboard. I guess we're going to can we spoil stuff? No, from I don't here? think we should. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's say we won't spoil that. Okay, but everything else we could spoil. But like. And then you had to film it in the midst of a pandemic, keeping secrets. Yeah. Everything's green screen. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Whereas with the Suicide Squad, there's so much 
on location stuff. It felt it felt like Rambo two. You yeah. know, like they're in yeah, the yeah. jungle and uh-huh, yeah, and yeah. all of that. And I I love that aspect of it. And it was just gooey and mean. Yeah, yeah and yeah. I just I just thoroughly enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah. So uh, Spider Man Home won at sixty five percent. Okay, The Suicide Squad got twenty five percent, and then Shang Chi got nine percent. <laughs> Next up, we have best comic book movie ever. Mm, what do you think, big Mason? Field. Huge field. Uh, yep. There's one entrance. Mm-hmm. Entrant. The Dark Knight for Heath Ledger's performance alone. It's taken it again. It, incredible. Stuff. Has it done it? Because of Heath Ledger's performance. That's what alone. actually got it over the yeah, line. Yeah, it's kind in of the in. End, the, it's it? kind of in the, <laughs> the. It's in the option there. There we go. Uh, what do we got next? Basically, well, best what comic we... book villain. Oh snap! All right. Okay, here's your, here's 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 where we're going, folks. Agatha Harkness from WandaVision. Yep. Baron Zemo from Falcon and Winter Soldier. Carnage from Venom Two. Boo. Doc Ock, No Way Home. <laughs> Yep. Green Goblin, No Way Home. Yep. Echo from Hawkeye. Yep. Kang the Conqueror, Loki. Oh, I like that one. Kingpin. Oh, somebody's written Kingpin here. That's very. <laughs> that's very funny. Does that mean a lot of people wrote King? No. Oh wait, did we say that? And then Collins. I think put Collins has put King. Yeah, maybe we said Kingpin. Good work, Collins. Uh, the the remade Steppenwolf from Justice Zack Snyder's Justice League. Pretty Lee. good. Starro from the Suicide Squad. Fun. Sylvie from Loki. Not a villain. Wanda Maximoff from WandaVision. Uh, yes. Yeah. US Agent from Falcon and Winter Soldier. Not bad. Ultron from What If. Better. And uh, Zhu Wenwu, who is uh, uh, sometimes called the Mandarin from Shang Chi. Yeah, okay. good, um, good lineup. I did like. Strong there's a lineup. lot of good stuff here. Yeah, yeah. I look, mean, Willem Dafoe was very good. Yeah, I look. I love Agatha Harkness. Yes, me too. The actor's name who I cannot recall, but I've said it hundreds of times in my life. Probably. Catherine Hahn. Catherine Hahn. There we go. She's great, tremendous. Love the character, but again, as a reveal, don't care for it. Yeah. Not interested. It's me, Agatha Harkness. Who? Who is this? With Agatha all along. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Well, got not, same there's not nice. enough kingpin for me to say he was the good villain. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, he was good. Nice to see him back. But he was barely in it. That's true. Starro. He I, didn't even have a scene with Hawkeye. No. Should have him up. That's true. Little... Starro I really liked because mm-hmm. absurd. Yeah. And, and gross. awful. Awful and gross. Just awful. Yeah. Like, a, a James Gunn I know, and we talked about this when we reviewed it. He was like, it terrified me that image is a comic. Yeah, right. And I think he managed to convey that. Yeah. Because normally you'd be like, big starfish who gives a shit. What's the, what's the sign? He's got a big sloshy eye. Is that Brainwave? Who's the guy? Oh, uh, Dr. Fucking. <laughs> talking about Peter Capaldi. Yes. Yeah, it's Dr. Something. It's Dr. Not... Awful. Yeah. Let me check. <laughs> okay, great. Uh, Kang the Conqueror I loved. A little yeah, little departure from the original. A but... villain though? I yeah. Think. I mean, I, yes. I feel the same about Echo. But here's the thing though. I think a lot of the time a complicated villain or, or a character that, that does the villain. The thinker. The thinker, there we go. Yeah. Um, the, the, a character who, who you know, does villainous things because they think they're doing the right thing. That's yeah. often pretty good, you know? I guess you so could. So you could say that with Sylvie. Uh, but, you, you could know. put in that, you could say peacemaker. Yeah, and like sometimes you'd be, you know, the, the like Sylvie's the antagonist for some of it and she's the, yeah. the, 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 the impetus for the show to happen but then she's not a villain at the end. So that's that's still cool. Um, mm-hmm. Wanda Maximoff tortured all those people in a town for a few days. Yes. Uh, US agent cut that guy's head off. I did like him. Yeah. As a villain. Ultron, we've seen Ultron before. But I Ultron mean, was good. This was, I thought this was a better version of Ultron in well, the Well, he what is if. doing, he, on a, yeah, he's more of a, he's more of a comic book scale Ultron. Yeah. Like he's, you know. Uh, I quite liked, well, this version of the Mandarin. He's not really called the Mandarin because he's like, Mandarin's a fruit. Yeah, that's true. Um, I, well, I mean, as someone who's a big fan of the Mandarin, you... How yes. did you feel about this on-screen representation? Because you that's just something that you've always a villain that you've you That's know, true. Liked. Uh look, uh I I you know, uh I th- good performance, I think. Yeah. But I would have preferred him to just be more just regular evil. Just no nonsense evil guy. Okay. Uh but there you go. Uh Baron Zemo, it's good to see him back. Yeah, but, but it's more weird they kind made of him a silly it's weird and... they made him a baron. Yeah. You know, and he does a little dance. He does a little dance. Okay, that's good. I mean if we if we're judging these on what Turned into the best meme. It would be Baron, Baron yes. Zemo for sure. So um, uh, I might have. I'm going to give it to Starro because awful. Just an yeah, awful right, thing right, happening yeah. all the time. Uh-huh. And you know, and the way they it's, they get into its eye and it's just oh all, yeah, that was just, yes, okay, just sure. But the Green yeah. Goblin took it away uh, on mm. the listeners' choice with 53. percent Yeah, and look very good. Yeah, and yeah. I I can't tell with Spider Man. Maybe I'm pushing back on it a little bit. It's because I just saw it. Yeah, sure, you right. Know? Uh-huh. And, uh, but you Willem don't want to make Defoe, the wrong call. Well, I would hate to. Yeah. No, all this is subject to change. But no, Willem Dafoe, mm-hmm. just terrific. Yeah. Just so good. And you know what? In, in fact, I'm going to give it to him just because it's great to see 
and I said, I, I'm sure I said this in the, in the review. It's great to see Willem Dafoe with the per- he can do the perfect Green Goblin impression with his face. Yeah, finally gets to show people his face as he does it. He's I really mean, doing yeah, it. You know, you know, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, people also said uh, Omni Man from Invincible and The Dark Knight by Heath Ledger's Heath Ledger's performance alone. Oh yeah, definitely. excellent choices. Mm. What about this post credits? Okay, so Same. some of these will be spoilers, folks. These will have to be. Yeah. Uh, oh, the, the trailer for. Uh, Spider Man No Way Home had the trailer for Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Yep. It was a trailer. Yeah, we, got it, right. we got it the next week. It's fine. Uh, at the end of Eternals, Harry Styles shows up as Star Fox and Pat Oswalt shows up as that little guy. Pip the Troll. Yeah, Pip the troll. I was indifferent to that. And you hated the Pip the Troll CG, right? Yeah, I did. Uh, also at the end of Eternals, Ebony Blade. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and Blade. Ebony Blade and Blade, double Blade situation. That was pretty good. Uh, good. Yeah, I, I would have been better if we saw it was Blade. <laughs> No, I know. I, I love the fact that it was we, we had to puzzle it out. I thought yeah. it was actually a lot of fun. Um, the end of Hawkeye got the complete musical number, okay, a complete musical number from Rogers the Musical. I like that you hated it. I that. hated it so much. Yep. Uh, Shang-Chi. Uh, Shang-Chi uh, has a little phone conversation with uh, Bruce Banner and Captain Marvel. I, I liked that too. Yep. I like that a lot. Yeah, yeah. Obviously filmed in cupboards. Yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> smushed together. Do you think they were all on as – do you think they were all – on a call together, no, the actors. I do not you think, think they're all recorded separately. Yeah, you're probably yeah. right. Uh, Venom two. Um, Venom goes Rick's, into a parallel universe, and then he sees Spider Man on Spider-Man. a team, and he goes, "I'm going to go see Spider Man," and then he doesn't. Also, that shot is not in. Um, yeah, it's not. Not yeah. that movie. Uh, Wanda Vision. Wanda is in a cabin, a lakeside cabin, and she's doing magic. Oh, I like that one actually. Mm. I like that one a lot, and just like the idea that she's out the front, yeah, yeah. just having a good time, and yeah, they're yeah. like, "Oh, she's not up to anything," but then inside, secret evil magic stuff, maybe. That's right. Uh, and finally, at the end of Black Widow, Elena visits the grave of Natasha and Elaine from Seinfeld is there. Eh. Bow, 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 bow. Well, I think the Eternals minute, was minute, up there. Minute. I think the Eternals and Shang-Chi yeah. were up there for me. What about you? And I did not like the Eternals very I went much. In, no, exactly, and maybe that's why. <laughs> maybe that's why the fact that Kit Harrington in a room opening a box, yeah. I was like, this is incredible. <laughs> This is what I've been wanting for two hours and for just a man the, to open a box and just and the, the fact, and there's a sword and it's going all wibbly wobbly. Just the fact that it's blade as well. Yeah, very exciting. I think so. Yeah, maybe I will give it to that. I'm giving it to it. Uh, I'm giving it the the, the, the Eternals has won an award. <laughs> They've come away with a coveted thing that happened at the end. Worth, I guess, worth sticking around. Maybe. For the, okay, great. Uh, Shang Chi won. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, it's twenty one percent, followed by Multiverse of Madness trailer seventeen percent. It's interesting that we just dismissed that and just went, eh, it's a trailer. But it's because it's not a scene, is it? I no. guess maybe that's why. But I can see why you would like that. Who doesn't yeah. want to see a trailer for a, the next movie? That's true, yeah. yeah. And then Rogers the Musical at 17.5. People also said Venom leaving the MCU in No Way Home. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's also true. That's pretty fun. That's good. Wow, Uh-oh, it's the big award, the Mason. Big My favourite award of the year. Oh, and then there's more awards afterwards. So <laughs> worse awards. <laughs> So that's pretty good. So, folks, this is the winner of the Game Is On Award. Now, this is yes. an award <laughs> because we missed this is, back to, this is back to the early yeah. days of the podcast. We watched, we watched the movie Dracula Untold. Yep. And a character at the end says, let the games begin, which I remembered as the game is on. We both remembered it independently and we gave, as and that. We, and we, it's, a, it's a special award for a movie that ends a movie that ends sort of heavily implied that they're heavily implied and very very smugly that there will be a sequel. Yeah, uh, like it, like it's a, it, it's a it's, it might be a movie that does nothing but set up a sequel. The Mummy, The Mummy, for example. But also, you're a shoe in for the award if your entire movie sets up a sequel and then your movie does so badly that the, the sequel is definitely not going to happen. Yeah, there's so. been. Uh, I'm trying to think of past winners. Can I, can I um Yeah, please. Let me bring these up. Well the Dracula Untold, obviously. Yeah. Uh yeah, the mummy, obviously. So like, you know, Avengers Endgame was like at the end of that, they 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 pitched another movie. Yeah. That doesn't that that is completely inel- ineligible because we know they're gonna make another Avengers movie eventually, no matter what. Like, exactly. No, you know. Uh but <sighs> I don't have it in front of me. I can't bring it. I thought it would be on the Weekly Planet. Because there's a Weekly Planet wiki. Oh, yes. And I, I, don't, I don't think it's actually on there. Wow, someone's dropped the ball there. Yeah. It's definitely not us. It's neither of us have dropped the ball there. It's, it's whoever who main, maintains this wiki. But anyway, look, here's, here's a, this, this is a turn up for the books because yeah. the first option here is an MCU movie. I, I honestly never thought I'd see an MCU yeah. movie on here, but it's Eternals. Yeah, so here's the thing. and I, I talked about this in um, the, the box office bombs and hits. It's not getting a sequel, right? Yeah. Which speaks volumes to 
how well this movie was received, but more likely than not financially. Because, yeah. like, Venom's getting movies until the heat death of the universe. But the fact that The Eternals, you know, hasn't made huge money mm. indicates, is, is, you know, it's very telling that they haven't announced a sequel. That being said, I think there are a number of elements in The Eternals which, is, which are going to spin off. For example, the Dane Whitman, uh, mm. Ebony Blade, yeah. Blade scene. Mm. That, I don't think that qualifies because we're getting a Blade movie. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There yeah. might be another post. Oh, yeah, the Harry Styles one. Harry, they're not going to... They're not going to bring in Harry Styles and then not use him. And they him. go, yeah, sorry, Harry, actually. Yeah. The, the movie you were in for two seconds didn't do that well, <laughs> so you're not getting – you're, you're – as, as a man beloved by literally millions of people around the world, we don't we, – we can't rely on yeah. you to make a bankable movie, so sorry, you're out. Uh, next up is Snake, Out, Snake Eyes. Now, we are going to do a proper review for Snake Eyes at the end of this, aren't yeah, yeah, we? Yeah, that's now, right. Now, I, I obviously have seen Snake Eyes and remember the movie Snake Eyes very mm. well, but I'm just going to read from the wiki, the mid credit Snake okay, Eyes terrific. scene. Okay, terrific. Love it, love it. Uh, in a mid credit scene on a private jet leaving Japan, the Baroness recruits Tommy into Cobra, oh. and Tommy has renamed himself... Storm Shadow. That's you right. You remember that, don't you? I know you? that. Yeah. <laughs> I know you know. It's, yeah. for the, it's for the listeners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're accusing them. <laughs> uh, next up we have The Matrix Resurrections. Yep. Uh, I know they're like, we just talked about it this episode, where we never plan to do any more mm-hmm. bullshit. Yeah. Absolute bullshit. Yeah, right. Uh, Mortal Kombat. What- What's interesting because I think <laughs> in the past, if we saw, you know, like decades prior, some movies – would do a thing where they would tease something like the, this This universe isn't over, you know, you thought yeah. the bad guy was dead but he's punching his hand out of the grave or whatever, and that would never lead to anything. But we just went, yeah, you know, that's that's a fun little thing. Yeah. But I think, yeah, like The Matrix Resurrections feels like they were like, we cannot close the door on this. No. We've gotta, but, I mean, boy, it didn't, didn't do well, did it? No. Has it done well? How's, no, has it's it made not, its money back? Apparently it's done well streaming, but it's also very pirated. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So the end of um, Mortal Kombat is Shang Tsung vows revenge as he sends his champion's corpses back to Outworld before Raiden banishes him, and Raiden declares his intention to train new warriors in preparation for the next tournament and assigns the current champions to recruit them. Okay, let me... Let me t- Cold into just... Los Angeles in search of Hollywood martial arts and movie star Jonathan Cage. Okay, so what I'm going to say here is gonna, I'm just going to zip through the last through Venom 2, Zack Snyder's Justice League, because I just want to say it is definitely Mortal Kombat because they didn't <laughs> even get to Mortal Kombat. As we as we previously mentioned, they yeah, never, but also they never th- even did. You don't a think we're Kombat. not going to get another Mortal Kombat? <sighs> did it do well? I think I it, did it did okay. Poorly. I think it did okay. Okay. Uh, I think it probably yeah. So I reckon I might actually get a budget fifty five million, yeah. box office eighty three million. Not great. No. But also we don't know the HBO Max numbers. Oh, I see. What you're so saying there. Yeah, look, yeah. I don't think there's been anything. That's been uh, on September Variety put. Okay, so on September fourteenth, twenty twenty one, Var- Variety reported that Warner Brothers is looking to develop other installments in the Mortal Kombat universe. Okay, so, other installments. Okay, so not a Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Two. So, but mm-hmm. I mean, Snake Eyes. You know. Yeah, I mean Snake Eyes. You know. <laughs> they went. It's Storm Shadow. Yeah. yeah you mean yeah. like in this movie? Yeah. The, 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 like he's been. He's pretty much been wearing <laughs> the outfit and all that. Yeah. That probably. Is, we think. We think he's probably. <laughs> yep. We remember. We remember that. Uh, full full disclosure. Can we give it to a movie we haven't seen? <laughs> I'm going to give it to. I'm I'm going to give it to Mortal Kombat. I uh, think then. I think it's not Venom because we're getting more Venom. Yeah, I think my my instinct tells me if they do another Mortal Kombat, it will be probably a reboot like with a, a lot of the same people though. Some of the ah uh, yeah, because I think it's very well cast. Yeah. I think it'll be a reboot, and I don't think that counts. I think it's the Matrix because that's it. That's an implication of failure. Yes, reboot. I'm going to give it to the Matrix. Okay. Uh, Snake Eyes came. Oh, I forgot about the Matrix. Yes, yeah. Snake Eyes came in at 28. Yep. percent Snake Eyes brackets probably. Then Zack Snyder's Justice League 24. percent Then Mortal Kombat 18. percent What's interesting about Zack Snyder's Justice League? Go is, on. It does set up things for the future. Mm. A whole like awful nightmare world and everything, and yep. by all accounts, at the moment is completely dead. Mm. So that is definitely up there. But I would also yeah. say that's not a swing and a miss in terms of, like, this was so bad and why would you even suggest yeah. this? I kind of feel like Zack Snyder's post the, – the, the post credit sequence in, in Zack Snyder's Justice League was basically, hey, Warner Brothers, look at all you're going to miss out on. Yeah. Which I don't think is the same thing. Yeah, fair like, enough. I feel like it's – I feel like what he's saying there is, like, you could have had you could have had the nightmare movie and people would have seen it, but you're now not I'm giving, doing Rebel Moon. Now I'm doing Rebel – now I'm doing – Zombie, this is a heist movie, is heist zombie. Rebel zombie movie. Rebel zombie, yeah. Uh, people also said Cowboy Bebop and Resident Evil, which oh. is probably true. Two probably. true things, probably. probably. Two true things. Wow. Another another big uh, 
And the game is on also doesn't necessarily need to be have a post credits. No, that's true. I mean, no, it, usually, it usually yeah. does. But I think, I think the best ones sort of lay the groundwork the entire... They're not even a movie. Yeah. It's just laying the groundwork for a sequel and it's like, and you're going to see another one, right? Yeah. No. We won't. We won't see another one. Do we, have to, we don't have to come to a... Uh, the, like, we don't have to decide. No, there's something. no rules. This is, it's, it's the best award because it's the vaguest <laughs> award. <laughs> Next up, we've got one of my favourites, best mm. hair or wig. Yes. Got Jason Momoa from Dune. How many of these do you think are actually wigs, though? Because we've got Jason Momoa from June. I think Owen Wilson's is all. Yeah, that's, that's okay, real we'll go hair. through. Timothy Chalamet, that's real hair. Scandalous if it was not real. Yeah. Can you imagine a world where that man is sporting a wig? Yeah. And look, I've seen, look, he's got great hair. He's got great hair in June. In the French Dispatch, he's got like this absolute ma- maniacal bird's nest of a hair. <laughs> okay. It's great. Uh, Oscar Isaac June, like that's consistently good. Great hair, great beard. That's a real beard. Yep. That's a good looking beard. Yep. Uh, Owen Wilson is Loki. Wig and Wig. mustache. Wig is good, good though. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Dev Patel in the Green Knight again. Good stuff. Good, good hair, but I mean, he's not. You know, I mean, with long hair, I would go. I would go Jason Momoa over him. Yeah, right. Okay. You know, uh, oh, the swordsman Hawkeye. That's, nah. Now that's good hair and that's a good mustache though. Not for me though. Okay, I, right. that one's going to come down to personal. <laughs> You're preference. approaching the swordsman <laughs> hair though. I think you've got to. I know, and I'm not. I'm not having a good time with it though. Am I? <laughs> right. uh, and uh, oh, and. Uh, uh, a rare lady entrant. <laughs> we normally yeah. don't allow this. Yeah, we don't, but I mean, it's in there. The people have demanded it. So Yelena Belova. And I think I know why. Because of the great, the, the formal scene. That insane ponytail yeah. that she had. But I, I mean, I would, I would say Kate Bishop also has great hair in that episode. Yeah, that's true. So, who knew Hawkeye would be on a best hair? <laughs> who knew there'd be a Hawkeye well, nomination he's, he's for not best hair? It. No, that's true. But just, just it, 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 the fact there's two is incredible. Three, really. Um, God. Best hair, man. I mean, as, I mean, I love that. I love that Oscar Isaac is is leaning into the gray. But again, that's yeah. a personal preference. But aren't all these personal preferences? Yeah, but also I think like that is just that beard is so good. Yeah, well. Oscar Isaac's look in Dune. Yeah, that is a magnificent regal look like yes. that because he's supposed to be the. It speaks to the character, doesn't it? Yeah, he's supposed yeah. to be the the head of House Atreides. He's a, he's royalty and he yeah. looks amazing. I guess all of these speak to the character. You know what mm. I mean? Like the swordsman, you know, yeah. he's, he's a bit pompous, so he's a bit of a pompadour situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Debatel in the Green Knight, like he's a bit of a bloody shambles, mate. His yeah. hair reflects that. Owen Wilson's a bureaucrat. Yep, exactly. Yeah. Look, for me, well, yeah. But, I mean, also, like. Without the beard, I probably wouldn't give it to Oscar Isaac. Yeah, right. But he does have that beard. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. What are you thinking? I'm thinking still Oscar Isaac. Yeah. Mm. Powerful mm. stuff. I he mean, there's no, yeah. there's no losers here. That's true, yeah. This is, this, is often, <laughs> this is an award where I look at it and I go, what a wonderful yeah. lineup. Also, what I enjoy here is we've clearly gone, well, Yelena Belova, like Florence Pugh would have had to be in hair for like three hours to do that hair. <laughs> yeah. Because it's wedding, it's like wedding hair. Yeah. And we just went, yeah, Oscar Isaac grew a big beard, didn't he? <laughs> and they put a comb through it and then went his hair in the morning. <laughs> it's fine. And then they filmed the movie. Who cares? Whatever. Yeah, uh, so Florence Pugh actually, here we go. Yep. Bit of validation. She took it away at 22%. There you go. All Owen right. Wilson's Loki at 19%. The Swordsman, 18%. Oscar Isaac, 15%. Timothy Charlemagne, 10%. There are a lot of manual votes uh, for Andrew Garfield, who uh, at least appeared in one movie this year, Tick, 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 Boom. Boom, yeah. And then also Benedict Cumberbatch in No Way Home. Also, terrible hair, Benedict Cumberbatch in No Way Home. You think? It's a, I think it's it's, a horrible wing. I'm just saying I think it's bad. I th- I, I, it, that looks grown on me, and I prefer it to his real hair. <laughs> wow. <Yeah. laughs> and I think he does too. <laughs> uh, next up we have... Uh, Worst hair or wig. Okay. Now, Collings um, initially only had one entrant, but I reminded him that Hawkeye, the TV series, had flashbacks, which is why we yet again get the appearance of Clint Barton with his endgame circa 2019. Just that skunk on his head. Just that awful haircut. Mm. But we have a very strong contender this New year. New contender. Yeah. Uh, it's Elon Musk. He's part of the MCU. <laughs> he is, he actually, Iron, isn't he? He was an Iron Man too. Uh, our elongated muskrat, which is his real full and proper legal name. That's right. Uh, I guess what's interesting about this is he's walking around in the real world with this. Yeah. The other thing that's interesting about this, mm-hmm. uh, and people probably know this, I know you probably know it, he's had a series of hair transplants. <laughs> yes, I did. So he, ha- he was bald prior. Mm-hmm. You can find photos of it. And now he looks like this. Mm-hmm. And it's a very good hair transplant. Like if, he is if a billionaire. Yeah, if you didn't know, you'd be you'd think that was his real hair. Yeah. But do you like, think? Do you think because they've had to recall like a quarter of all the Teslas ever made? Do you think that he's going to have to give some of these hair plugs back? <laughs> he should have to. Yeah, yeah I think so. They yeah. should come to his house and take them from him. But um, what is that? It's it's um it's atrocious. Yeah, like I would say it's divorced dad hair, but it's not. It's more than that. 
Yeah, it's it's yeah. What I, there comes a point. I think we talked about this in real life. <laughs> it's um, it's the fifth element. It's Gary. Yeah, Oldman, it the is. Fifth element. Yeah. But like we like you know we're we're getting older. You know what I mean? Speak for yourself. We're pushing up. We're pushing up into our thirties. Yeah, that's correct. Yes. We're, we're getting, one day getting there. Yeah, three oh one day. <laughs> but. They're, they're like, I mean, I live pretty fast, so you know, maybe I, maybe I won't even make it to the big three. You know I mean? <laughs> there's there's a point where I think you said this with clothes, where the the mark of good clothes is you can wear them at any age and you don't look ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Where there are only clothes that you can get away with if you're young. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. um, even if you're in great shape and you're sixty, there are certain clothes that you can you probably couldn't wear a cool like summer romper. Sure. You know it's what I true, mean? Yeah. I mean, there's probably exceptions. Taika Waititi could probably has done it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not that he's sixty. Uh huh. And so I think it's the same with hair. I think there's certain things that you can get away, like yeah. haircuts you can get away with in your youth That's true, yeah. that, you sh- that you should not attempt yeah. mm-hmm. as an older person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is like the perfect mm. – <laughs> we spent too much time on this. No, no. <laughs> no, this is – what this is. We, we cover the big issues. Yeah, um, the wig issues. The very wig issues. It's, it's obviously Elon Musk for me. He could have done – there are other options here that, that are short on the sides and longer. He could have even if he if he like pulled it back even. That could the work. fact that he's just kind of like looks like a f- like a fish flopped over on his head. Yeah, yeah. 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 It looks like a just a hamburger patty. Like <laughs> That's that. what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, it's, it's Elon Musk. This it's bad. Year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he counts because he was an Iron Man too. That's right. Yeah. Uh, so he actually has taken it away in the listener's choice with 74%. <laughs> there you go. Followed by Hawkeye, 23%. Uh, but, of course, there's some others in here. Woody Harrelson, Charlie's Theron, Fast at 9. I forgot about that. That's a big one. The bulk oh, card. got the bulk card, yeah. Better okay. than her dreads. Mm. And Benedict Cumberbatch in No Way Home mm. again. Ooh, controversial for you, I know. <laughs> What's next, Mason? Best animated movie. Woo! Let me tell you this. I've seen one of them. Big, big turnout this year. Big turnout. There's only one that I'm like, not that one. Okay. But the rest of these, I'm like, good movies. Well, that's the one that I've seen. So <laughs> uh, the, the nominees are Encanto, yep, newly, newly released. Yep. Luca, yep. which is about a fish boy. Loved it. Fish Thought boy. it was terrific. The yeah. Mitchells versus the Machines. Yep. People like also that loved one. It. Raya and the Last Dragon. Also loved it. And then, of course, Space Jam and New Legacy. Drek. Absolute, oh, God, absolute garbage. Absolute. How did I end up seeing that one and none of the others? <laughs> Just dog sick of a movie. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, so you have to pick yeah. it because it's the one you've I seen. I have to, yeah. That's the best <laughs> animated movie I saw this year apparently. Um, I've got to say... The I'm going to Mich- rewatch the Animatrix. That was better. <laughs> I'm going to say the Mitchells versus the Machines. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it spoke to me as like a family man. Now, what is the plot as of a this? white man? What is the plot as a of man this? who loves technology? Oh, what is the plot of this? Uh, so basically, robot like Elon Musk style robots take over, and then this family, the Mitchells, have to. So just men in 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 unitards. Yeah, and it's also it's Sony Animation who did uh, Spider Verse. Oh, and they're just killing it at the moment. It right. seems they. But also, uh, I, I liked Encanto, but I didn't love it. Mm-hmm. I was wasn't expecting much from Luca because people were like, oh, "It's just a very simple whatever." It's about boys who want to get a moped. Like sure, that's what okay. it's about. You should talk to different people because all the people <laughs> who recommend you stuff are always like, "Oh, it's about a boy who's got a moped." Uh, I'm dumb, uh. actually. Uh, I have a bad opinion. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for your input. All right, I'll see you later, mate. But I thought it was just like lovely and sweet and uh-huh. simple and fun. Okay. And my son also loved it. And Ryan the Last Dragon was really cool. Okay. But um, so I'd probably say Mitchell's versus the Machines, then Luca, then Raya in that order. Okay. And then Encanto, but not by much. And then Space Jam, well down the bottom, <laughs> like a pile of dog sick on the floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, you yeah. obviously said Space Jam because yeah, you had to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got down on the floor and I got the, lapped up that dog sick. They did um, Luca a disservice by dumping it on Disney Plus as well. Oh, right, okay. Because yeah. it was very good. Uh, so Mitchell's versus the Machine took it away. Uh, Danny McBride's in it. Ah, and one of the ones from um, uh, Josh Gad. Four and three and two and one. That show, <laughs> Broad City. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, right. Abby, one yes. who plays Abby. Uh-huh. Um, I can't remember her name. Um, and a bunch of other people. It is yeah. Abby, I think. Or actually, okay. Oh, Abby. cool. Uh, so then it was Luca, then it was Ryan, the last dragon. People always said Ron's gone wrong and Evangelion 3. Point, uh, 3.0 plus 1.0. Well, there was a new Evangelion. Thrice upon a time. Yeah, oh. you didn't see it? No. I didn't know there was an anime it could be considered. Um, <laughs> see, we go. But I think that's a whole different Here style of animation. Abby we, Jacobson or something. Thank you. There we go. I haven't seen Ron's gone wrong yet, but I've heard it's also good. Next up, Mason. Next up, best horror movie. Wow. We actually saw some of these this year. Saw a lot of these. There's only uh, one of these I didn't see. Yeah, okay. Well, and, and obviously there are plenty. Fuck, I wanted to see Candyman too. So many of these. Fuck. So, there are so many horror movies came out this year. A lot of, I'm sure there were probably like Annabelle's and Poltergeist Goose. <laughs> Poltergeist. 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 
and the <laughs> conjurings, which are Annabelle's, I think. I think it's think. Geese. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I think there was one where Patrick Wilson's like, where are the paranormal investigators again or whatever? You know those yeah. ones? I think I think that conjuring was, the devil, the devil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The devil got say, up in my But here's the ones pretty much we saw. Yep. Uh, Army of the Dead. Yep. A Quiet Place Part Two. Yep. Candyman. We didn't see it. Fuck. Last night in Soho. Yep. Malignant. Yep. Halloween Kills. Boo. And a, a big surprise because I forgot this movie came out. Yep. Spiral from the Book of Saw. Boo. Terrible. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Just. I mean, no good. In terms of bang for your buck. Real shame. Malignant was very entertaining. Oh yeah, yeah. Was Last Night in Soho a horror? I guess it was, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was Jarlo, James. It was Jarlo oh, yeah, horror. It. A, a term we don't fully understand. We don't know it. And never will. I didn't. I know you didn't like Army of the Dead that much, but I didn't mind it. I wouldn't. It wasn't my favourite. I mean, it was very Zack Snyder. I mean, the first, <laughs> if the movie was, again, if the movie was like the first 10 minutes, absolutely. If it was just two hours of the, that first 10 minutes again, just, yeah. just showgirls and, 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 you know, Zombie Las Elvis Vegas de- de- dealers being yeah. you know, shot by uh, uh, mercenaries. That would have been hilarious. But just just a dull, yeah, just a dull Vegas. No good. Uh, I'm going to give it to. And Halloween Kills wasn't anything. No, absolute filler. It was not good. Um, uh, I also I liked a Quiet Place too. It was clearly like get ready for the next one. Yeah, right, right. But right. I did like it. Yeah. Um, I wish I saw Candyman because mm. I got the feeling I probably would have <laughs> would have been up here. <laughs> then again, I haven't seen it. Probably Last Night in Soho then, I guess. Okay. I think also what I like about Last Night in Soho is it is it twists into that. You know, it doesn't start like that. Yeah, that's like true. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but also Malignant was an ins- not, look, insane for me, movie. For, for me it was Malignant, of course, another Jalo horror yes, movie. Yes, of course. Uh, but it's, again, it's, if you know, be, we're not overly familiar with this kind of genre, but it is, you know, it's it's just the idea of, I spent. So everybody recommended. We we went. We yeah. saw it on we the recommendation. We weren't gonna like review yeah, yeah. it or anything. And then people were like you got to see this, and I spent two thirds of the movie going, "Why did Why did people recommend this?" And by the end, I'm like, "That was a hell of a ride. <laughs> what a fun time." Yep, that's exactly what it is. I'm yeah. gonna give it to Last Night in Soho though. All right, and you're gonna give it to that other thing. Yes, great. Okay. Let's see what the listeners said, Mason. They okay. said. Uh, last night, sorry, thirty seven percent. Quiet place, two twenty eight percent. Then malignant, ten yep. percent. People also say they didn't watch much horror this year. And the beach that makes you old. I forgot about that. I, forgot the beach makes I old. did like the beach that makes yeah. you old. That beach did make them old. I am so old. I loved it. I thought it was cool. Yeah, nice. I don't know if people think I'm joking, but I did really <laughs> like it. That's great. Was that man a CGI man? Oh yeah. Do we ever come up with a? Nah, I didn't okay. get anything. All right. Here we go. Best video game adaptation thing. Arcane on Netflix. Yep. Uh, Free Guy. Yep. Mortal Kombat. No. Resident Evil. Welcome to Raccoon City. Probably not. Sonic the Hedgehog Two trailer. That was a good trailer. So there were were there two Resident Evil things that happened this year? There might have been Netflix. There might have been a Netflix. The Netflix Resident Evil thing, and this is but this is the the, this is the live action the movie live action one where they just adapted the games. Interesting. We've got uh, a lot of people love an Arcane. I I didn't get a chance to see it. So many people have said you should do an episode on it, and we haven't. We haven't done that. Yeah. So, um, I, so I guess it's Free Guy for me. I think it might be Free Guy. And as I well, like yeah. Free Guy. Also, did we say the Sonic the Hedgehog two trailer? That was in there. Yeah. Uh, so I mean, Free Guy, and I think the, the you know the advantage of Free Guy was that they didn't buy the license or, or you know get the yeah. license to Grand Theft Auto, so they they weren't bound to the rules of it, yeah. and they didn't just have to do a, just a crime drama, yeah. That, or a crime action movie that just happened to have some mechanics from the game in it. And also, like, a lot of the scenes where you, you sit in a car and then somebody talks to you <laughs> yeah. about the mob or whatever yeah, the fuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, but, so Free Guy, they were like, okay, we can we can do a video game movie, but we might, we make it meta, characters yep. know they're in a video game, etc. I got 32%, Arcane at 28 and Sonic at 23%. People also said Castlevania's final season is really great. Isn't mm. that anime? I feel like it was anime. I would have seen it. Yeah, yeah. It's a cartoon. It's Here we a cartoon go. Cartoon for kids. Best video game. Oh god, this is just a list of games I didn't play. Same. But here we go. All right. Death Loop. Yep. Didn't yep. play it. Guardians of the Galaxy. Did play it. Didn't finish it. Okay. Did like it though. Halo Infinite. Didn't play it. Hitman uh-huh. Three. Didn't play it. It takes two. Want to play it? You don't it, have a friend though. No, I don't. Yeah. Do you want to? No, never mind. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Metroid Dread didn't play didn't it. Play Psychonauts it. two didn't play it. Ratchet and Crank, Clank, Ratchet and Crank, <laughs> Rift Apart didn't play it. Resident Evil Village didn't play it. Didn't love it. Stopped playing it. Returnal didn't play it. You I didn't would... finish Resident Evil Village. No. Too gross. No, I just kind of like just this okay. All right. All right. <laughs> no, a lot of people loved it. I think a lot of it is good. Uh-huh. I just didn't really didn't connect with me. It was 
I got to the point where I'm like, I'm in a castle and find a key, and I'm like, nah, I'm not going to do that actually. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm just not I got my do... own keys. I got my own keys yeah. and my key ring right here. I don't need it. And so I just stopped playing it. Okay, I then. just look at all my PlayStation 4 games and I go, this is a sad state of affairs of games. You know, I found the other day. Yes. I found, I'm like, you know what I should play? That game where like all the, ra- like A Plague's Tale. Oh, yeah, with all the rats, sure. I have it. I bought yeah. it. I've got a physical <laughs> copy of it. But, and, but did you let did you let the rats play? I let the rats play. Yeah, great. Okay. I showed you how my little dog killed a rat. Yes. God damn. You know that little dog I have, everybody? It killed a fucking rat. Yeah. yeah. Could have two things, killing rats, pissing everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Just out of excitement. Just. Well, we worked out why she pissed everywhere because she was just woken up. And uh, she's supposed to go out straight away. Yeah, right, But right, she right. ran over to you and then just pissed all over the floor. All right. Yeah. Anyway, what did you play from these? None of them. What would you pick then? Oh, uh, I was going to get Hitman 3, but I didn't. So let's give it to Hitman I do want to play the Hitman games because there is a new... James Bond game on the way. Yes. And so it's the same developers. I.O., yeah. So there you bloody go. Mm-hmm. Here's something for you, though. Here's something that's just free of okay, charge for right. you right now. It's not on the list. But the game I probably played the most mm-hmm. was uh, Sonic Super. I have been playing a lot of Sonic Colors and a lot of Sonic Team Racing at the uh-huh. moment. Mm-hmm. Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury came out of February of 2021. Oh, I have been playing. I've played so much of that game. Uh-huh. I just I played it to death because my uh-huh. son loves it. We mm-hmm. play it together. It's a wonderful game. It is a reissue of like it's a remake of an old game, but it has the new Bowser's Fury addition to it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's a really good Mario game as well. Yeah. I think it's terrific, and that's my game of the year. Now I've now I've heard that um, whenever Mario's on screen and he speaks, yep. you turn the TV down and you just play a clip of Chris Pratt, yeah. one of his one of his famous movies. Oh, no, I play an Instagram clip where he's like, "I went to the woods and I prayed to God" or whatever he's up to. Yeah, great, <laughs> yeah, terrific stuff. Anyway, you need your son to have the authentic Mario <laughs> experience. Moves. So, Guardians of the Galaxy one. Um, we're twenty two percent, and it was great. And I, I didn't finish it because I didn't like it. I just didn't. <laughs> okay. I liked the choices that you had, or at least what felt like the illusion of choice. Mm-hmm. I don't think it did anything much new mechanically, but the yeah, right. story was so compelling that it, mm. but it worked. Mm-hmm. Uh, then Halo Infinite sixteen percent, then Resident Evil Village at ten, and then it takes two nine percent. I should play. I really like to weigh out the, mm-hmm. the previous game they did, and then Metroid Dread, which are uh, also oh, that, that, that that developer exclusively does. Adventure games where you, you, you have to have a mate. You have to have a mate. Okay, right? Yep. Well, they're right then. So that's cool. Yeah. And there you go. And that's everything for the year. Just kidding. There's many more awards. So many more. Best movie trailer. Wow. The, and I guess you could, if, if there's multiple, just the best one. Yeah, just the best one. Or, or if we go by runtime, whoever had the most trailers. <laughs> uh, the Batman. Yep. Which Black one? Black Adam. Okay, yep. Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Yep. The Green Knight. Good trailer, The yeah. Flash. Okay. Last Night in Soho. Mm-hmm. Spider-Man No Way Home. Uh-huh. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse Part 1. Uh-huh. Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Oh, man. Mm. God, Ooh. that fucking Batman trailer, that first one. Yeah. I know, it's it's Batman, and I'm a sucker for fucking, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Because, uh, like. Did something exciting happen in the Flash trailer? Yeah, did, we right? see Batman sort of. We might. Yeah. We're about to see Batman. Must have been something else though. No, that was it. Doesn't matter. But yeah, the Batman trailer. Like is either either of these ones, but I definitely that first one. Yeah, where we see him. You know, with the the penguin thinks he's gone away with it, and yeah. then and then the Batman just mows him down or just jumps out of the. Also, the... I think there was a trailer in twenty twenty as well. Right, right, right. Yeah, uh, but and, I'm talking about the newer one. Yeah, 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 and just and again, like there's that that scene where he's getting machine gun. He's walking down the corridor. Yeah, he's just so knocking good. People around. Really good. I don't remember Black Adam, so um, I don't think it was anything. Uh, Doctor Strange didn't show much, so I'm not. S- mm. I am excited for it, and I think that's the same with Spider Man because for me, those trailers are more about what's not in this, yeah, mm. than than what's going on here. The Green Knight was a very intriguing trailer. Yeah, uh, Last Night in Soho was good too. Mm-hmm. I love the Sonic trailer. <laughs> Across the Spider Verse, I liked. Yes, but I wouldn't say it was my favorite. I also spend most of that trailer going. Was this at the end of the first one? Yeah, <laughs> some of it was. I'm going to say the Batman. Same, but not the most recent one. The one that they released, like maybe mid year. I don't yeah. know. Let's see what the people said. Let's see what the good people said. What did the people say, James? At Weekly Planet. Dot nerd. Oh, do we have dot nerd? Did we acquire we dot got nerd? It. Okay, great. Uh, the Batman DC fandom, 58%. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, 12%. Spider-Man Noah Home, 11%. Multiverse, mm-hmm. Mad, Multiverse of Madness, 6%. And Sonic, 2 2%. A lot of manual votes for the Matrix Resurrections trailers. They were good trailers. They were, Look, they were, they were oh, pretty good trailers. trailers. They were good trailers in the sense that... These are good trailers? They were good trailers. And we, we even, you know, I we... They were intriguing, and you went into the Matrix. You didn't know what it was about yet. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't about much more than the trailers. Ultimately, for it me. turned out in the end. But ultimately. still, it was like they weren't trailers that just gave the whole game away, which yeah. is nice. 
Maybe they should have. <laughs> they should have. <laughs> Next up we've got yes. best streaming service Ooh. of the year. Mm. Amazon Prime. Yep. Apple TV. Okay. Disney Plus. Mm. HBO Max. Ooh. Hulu. Netflix. Mm. Now, I want to make a quick amendment to our hits and misses of the year, the Go videos. Uh-huh. I was like, why would HBO Max dump? Why would they put everything in HBO Max? They uh-huh. lost billions of dollars on this. This was the stupidest decision that a company <laughs> has ever made. Yes. Uh, second, of course, to Quibi. Mm-hmm. But I really appreciated it. <laughs> it made my year better. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I, I just – wonderful. Just great for me. Uh <laughs> But but you should slam them. slam them in public. <laughs> slam them on your YouTube channel. Um, I yeah. mean Netflix though, man. But then again, Disney. What do you mean? What do you mean Netflix? They just, man? There's always everything. It's just always happening there. In a good way. Yes. Really. And Disney Plus, I guess, also did Marvel. See, stuff. I would say Netflix very unfocused. Yep. So I'm not like again. It's scatter shot. It's always there, but it's got a billion things from the last few years, and just not like it. it I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm flicking on Netflix if I happen, if I know there's something I want to watch on it, like yep. I've checked already and it's on Netflix, I'll watch it there, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not flicking on Netflix and going, wonder what's here for me. Yeah. Because okay. I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, fair enough. Standard whatever's. But I mean, Disney Plus, a lot of original, you know, Disney, uh, yep. Mar- Marvel content, great loving that. Yep. You know. Also, honourable mention, shout out to Australian streaming service Stan, yeah. which I think is very good. I was just going to say, like... I was thinking that just earlier, and I, and I have something to say mm. in our segment, what we were in, what we're going to read. Yeah. But um, the thing about Stan is, Stan, as opposed to just like network TV in Australia, which just does reality TV because it's the cheapest possible thing to yeah. manufacture, Stan is actually making like yes. dramas and comedies. And and also gets a lot of interesting things from overseas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, maybe it was Stan. I really like Stan. Amazon I mean, Prime's also got a lot of old stuff as that's well. That's true. But it is- sometimes I click on a thing and it's like, you give us money for this. And I'm like, ah, fuck you. <laughs> also, Apple Plus, yeah. pretty pretty good yeah, stuff yeah. on there as Amazon, well. Amazon Prime is interesting because it's like, it's like. I have too many of these. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> it's it's because there they, there's, there's old stuff that like, because again, a lot the thing about Netflix is so much, of, so little of it is pre like 1990. Like if you want anything old, it's just not there. But Amazon yeah. Prime has a bunch of old stuff. But also it's just like. Like if you if you just scroll and see if there's anything interesting, it's just like short films and yeah. like ads and like it, it's weird because like it doesn't it's it's deeper than you think. Yeah, because like I feel like you can get to the end of Disney Plus pretty rapidly. Yeah, you definitely yeah. But Amazon, it's like there's so much of this yeah, yeah. happening, and it's Amazon, so they're awful monsters. Yeah, definitely. But uh, yeah. you know, but it's also like six bucks a month, so yeah, it's <laughs> so good on there. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, but it's, I mean, Disney Plus had all the Marvel stuff this year, didn't they? They sure did, And yeah. they also had a bunch of stuff that went straight to streaming, like like Black Widow went there, which I appreciated, Luca mm-hmm. went there, which I appreciated. So it's probably Disney Plus for yeah, me. I think so as well, yeah. In terms of things that, like, in terms of a, in terms of something I didn't have that I would have got this and year. And luckily Disney's a way more ethical uh, that's what I'm, that's corporation what I'm saying. than Amazon. That's what I'm they're talking just, about. It's night and day. You know how they're they, not the same. They took the cigarettes out of Walt Disney's hands yeah. in uh, all the imagery. Mm. I think that's beautiful. That is beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> that's art in itself. But I I think if you looked at these as well, not that we can get HBO Max here like straight, but you can get it through various channels. Yeah. yeah. But Disney Plus is the one I would have got if I didn't have it. Like if I, I had none of these, mm-hmm. that would have been the one I would have signed up for yeah, first. Right. What mm-hmm. are you going to give it to? Yeah, Disney Plus. Uh... It's not my favorite, but it's the one that yeah. I go to for like specifically I, I'm watching this every week. Yeah, for week. me it's more like it's more honestly probably YouTube would be mine. But, yeah, well, that's probably but, true. But uh, yeah. like, if, I, if I'm if I'm like, I'm that's actually be, true. Yeah. I've watched more YouTube than if I, anything. If I'm like, I'm in the mood to watch a documentary about old eight bit video games or something like that. Yeah. I'll go to YouTube because there'll be somebody who's yeah. done it for the passion. And if you of click doing on it. the one on Netflix, it's like this is fine. Yeah, you know? exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, and, and you know, I think the other thing is about Disney Plus. I only go there specifically. I don't go there to yeah. browse. Yeah, but I. But you know, I'm, I'm going to say YouTube. <laughs> yeah, the answer is YouTube. I think. Uh, but I'll, but I think like Disney Plus. It that if. If I'm if there's appointment viewing of like here's a yeah. new thing and you got to see this because it's the latest thing it's probably on and Disney you have Plus. to review it I, gotta ha- I have to review it yeah but it's YouTube uh, so Disney Plus came in at fifty nine percent then HBO Max at sixteen then Netflix at fifteen Ooh. here's one which is a very very self indulgent but I'm here for it okay uh, favorite Caravan of Garbage series oh this is what we covered this will be interesting year. to see. What people uh, like. What people like, but what did we like the most? Yeah, because I don't think necessarily the numbers reflect like what people like the most necessarily. Like yeah. there's ones that are like 
they're popular, but they yeah. might not be people's favorite That's episodes. True, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Amazing Spider Man, Fast and Furious, mm-hmm. GI Joe, Ghostbusters. Mm. Iron hated that. I was Iron Man. I like doing Iron Ghostbusters because I hated going back to all it. of them. <laughs> Uh, no, I like the first one, but I hate everything yeah, about right, Ghostbusters. Right, right. Uh, James Iron Man, James Bond, I really enjoyed doing. Yeah, I always enjoyed doing the James Bond ones. The Mask, uh-huh. uh, the Matrix was that was fun actually. I like the Matrix. Mm. Mortal Kombat, eh? Saw <laughs> Saw was interesting, but it kind of by the third one, I'm like, yeah, I get it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, and then Superman one to one four. To four which well, it's were not GI Joe because I forgot we did those. <laughs> uh, I think it's James Bond for me. And I really liked, even though there were more effort going to, and playing all the video games, I yeah, li- yeah. I've, I'm a sucker for James Bond games for some reason. Yeah, right. Good or bad. Mm-hmm. And I like finding something that's like, I, I've found like a weird DLC that ties into this game. Yeah, right, right, that comes right. It ties into this movie or whatever. Um, oh. That's fun. I mean, I liked... But then again, The Matrix was cool. And I, I, liked, I liked re-watching the Fast and Furious ones, but we did the first three and the third one's rough. I, I liked that one. That was my yeah, favorite. I think it's bad. The Amazing Spider-Man was good. Yeah. But I don't think I had any startling revelations about it. Yeah. The Matrix really made me come around on those sequels as well a lot more. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for me, you know what? I think it's James Bond for me. Okay. I, I think, think it's, it's James Bond for me as well. Yeah, because it's a lot of fun. Love, love, yep. love. Uh, you know, uh, watching watching Daniel Craig go through the motions. Watching what he's up to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. that actually won at 23%, followed by The Amazing Spider-Man at 70% and The Matrix 12%. I also think people like when we do like – well, the Amazing Spider-Man doesn't speak to this, but you can yeah, do like stuff. a whole series, yeah, and yeah, yeah, and put in and work in video games and everything. It's just, it's not. I I, I was going to say maybe it seems easy, but uh-huh. I'm sure it doesn't. I don't know. It's hard when you, mm. you got to do. Yeah, it's hard when you got to do like video games and a movie and whatever. Yeah. It's it's more it's more work, and I. But oh, I, wow. but I think it's good. Anyway, best series. Oh ever! my goodness! Okay, what do we got? Well, we, we didn't. Uh, Neither of us watched all of these, I would imagine. Yeah. Okay, let's go for it. Arcane, yep. didn't the say Netflix it. series people love. Bridgerton, you didn't saw Bridgerton? No, yeah, okay. didn't watch did, it. did Claire watch Bridgerton? Should she we did, bring yeah. Claire in? Yep. Should we bring her in? No, she's in bed. Yeah, no, that's pretty. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, let's, let's wake her up. Claire, did you see Bridgerton? <laughs> yes. She, the, she hears a ro- knock at the door. <laughs> no, she hears the door opening and then we just shove like two sets of microphones in her face. Claire, what do you think of Bridgerton? Did you know in the second series they're not bringing back the original core cast members because the books focus on a different family? Because the Bridgerton collapsed and they were all on it, <laughs> which is what I assume the show Bridgerton about. has poor foundations. Yes. Okay, well, let's. we should get through more of these. Cobra Kai, season six of The Expanse, Didn't Falcon and Winter Soldier. Watched it. Hawkeye. Watched it. Invincible. Loved it. Jupiter's Legacy. I liked it. Loki. Liked it. Mayor of East Town. Didn't watch it. Who was in that? Was that a Jeremy uh, Kate, Renner joint? Kate, um... Kate Winslet. Kate Winslet. Apparently very good. <laughs> okay, right. I'm thinking of that movie. That, I'm thinking of that movie where Jeremy Renner is in it, and so is Elizabeth Olsen, and everybody gets shot. Oh, uh, Wind River. That's the one. It's a good movie. Yeah, it is. Uh, Mayor of Easttown, Midnight Mass. Midnight Mass is terrific. Yeah, they're great. Modoc, Shadow it. and Bone. Didn't mind it. Squid Game. Ooh, popular choice, no doubt. Sweet Tooth. I like Sweet Tooth. Ted Lasso season two. Good fun. WandaVision. Yep. What good. if? Yep. The Witcher season two. Didn't watch it. I'm going to add one to this. Okay. It's currently still going. Yes. Station Eleven. Oh, I've heard that's good. Amazing. So that is a pandemic style show, right? Yes, but it's a different kind of pandemic. But it was written. It was written. The books were. Yeah, the books were like 2014. Ago, right? Okay. Um, and it's got. Uh, I always forget a name. What is her name? Famous people. But it's got so many famous people in it. Oh my god! It's got the guy from like David Cross is in it. right? David Cross is, is in that it. A spoiler. David Cross is in it. No, he's in it. Okay, that's fine. Let me. Mackenzie Davis. Davis. Oh, from uh, Ghostbusters. Ghost- no. Oh, from Terminator. From Terminator. I'm confusing Mackenzie Davis with Mackenzie uh, Davis. And uh, Himesh Patel, who was in that the Beatles movie where nobody remembers the Beatles. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. got Laurie Petty, who plays Tank Girl. It's really good. Wait, who's uh, Mackenzie Crook? Is that the little... Mackenzie the- Crook is the is Gareth from The Office. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she is too. Yeah. Who am I thinking of? Who was the, who's, the, who's the young the, lady in... Uh, in Ghostbusters Afterlife. What's uh, her name? Uh, I know who you mean. Yeah. She's also in... Um, I'm going to look it up. That movie with Chris... I'm going to look it up. You're going to love it how I look it up. McKenna Grace. Yes, there we go. Okay, not Mackenzie Grace. Mac- and it's also got the photographer from... Mackenzie Crook is, is Gareth, you're yes. right. <laughs> and, dete- and Mr. Detectorist. Mr. Detectorist. Uh, so, look, that's not finished yet. So, mm. uh, look, it would be... I, I wouldn't... I guess I won't put it on there. But I would say Midnight Mass then. Okay. Yeah. And Netflix. Yes, that's true. What yeah. do you think, though? Ooh. Ooh. Did you finish Midnight Mass? No. So I, I guess I won't spoil Midnight Mass, but I liked the parallels between, like it's basically, it's about a monster metaphorically yes. and real. Yes. And oh, can I, I love I spoil when it's it? Me- I love, no, I'd rather you, uh, no. That's okay. Right. 
But any, but, but it's got like, vampires on it, right? Yes. Vampires? Because there's vampires in the thumbnail. Yes. Yeah. Oh, God, there's in the thumbnail. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. But they're like, look, it's an angel. An angel has visited our town. And just like everybody who's like knows anything, including the, the watcher, is just like, it's a fucking vampire. What are you talking yeah, like, about? Right. Yeah, and yeah. just the people are so like focused on this this beautiful miracle, which yeah, is. Right. And it's like, that's clearly, even if you didn't know what a vampire was, you'd be like, that's a that's terrifying bad news. monster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that looks like a human, but not. Um, gosh, great, great question. Uh, I mean, I did like, oddly, I did like Jupiter's Legacy quite a bit. I liked it too. Did but you like it more than Invincible, though? I liked Invincible a lot too. Yeah, I liked Invincible more. And I and look, a lot of people didn't like Jupiter's Legacy, but yeah. I quite, I, I did. Mm. And uh, it kind of cancelled it forever. Boy. I mean, Ted Lasso is consistent. Oh, we've also good. reached the point in this where some of my answers might contradict other answers. Sure, that's <laughs> like fine. I might have said the best Marvel series was WandaVision earlier, but now I'm going to be like, I loved Hawkeye the most, or whatever. <laughs> so, uh, Sweet Tooth was good too. Oh uh, yeah, that's what I'm good. talking about. Netflix, good stuff. Good, yeah, all right, pretty good. And of course, Squid Game's on was on Netflix. Exactly. And Shadow and Bone. I watched Shadow and Bone. What for some is reason. it? I've forgotten. It's about dark magic. It's or not something. the one about the cities. The, the city, the mobile cities. No, you're thinking of I'm sitting, Mortal, thinking Engine, Mortal Engines, City yeah. of City of Bones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yes, that's what you're thinking of. Man, maybe it's just because it's the cl- maybe it's just because it's the closest one. But I'm 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 going to say my favorite series currently is probably Hawkeye. Okay, just because it's a fun, fun Christmas time adventure. It's a good fun Christmas time, yeah. and I can't argue with that. Mm-hmm. Uh, Invincible one at twenty seven percent, followed by Ted Lasso at eleven percent, and Squid Game at ten percent. Mm. Squid Game was good. Yeah, I didn't get it, but I liked. Oh, it. it's uh, it's um. It's it's about how capitalism is good. Oh, then I yeah, did get it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I got it completely. <laughs> <That's right. then. laughs> because what what happened is when when because Mr. Beast got all those guys together. Yeah, and then they did the child games and yep. they won all prizes and stuff. I guess. And that's and that's cool. And that's Squid Games. That's isn't it? that's a Squid Game. <laughs> that's a Squid. We we call that's it a calamari a squid game. game. Oh, they call, in, Australia, in Italy yeah. they call it calamari game. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the most anticipated series of 2022. In Australia, they call it Extra Potato Cake Game. They call it Crab Stick Game. Crab Stick Game. Uh, most anticipated, a, a dim, dim Sim Game, mate. Yes. Uh, most anticipated, Dimmy. Wait, can I think of a <laughs> Chico Roll Game? Chico Roll. Is, is that chick- an Australian thing? Yes, the Chico Roll is Australian. It's for truckies. Never had it. Because it's a weird, just <laughs> meat a weird stick? great. Gro- gross meat product that you can eat while you're driving your truck. Is it like curry-ish? No. I always thought it was like a curry kind like, of thing. It is kind of like a dim sim. Because it looks like curry-ish. I always I'm looking it up. Like a... Everyone look up Chico Roll. No. Look up a YouTube video of somebody eating a Chico Roll. Don't. No, you won't like it. You won't like what's happening. You won't, it's true. You won't. Yeah. While you're doing that, yeah. most anticipated series of 2022. Okay. Here we bloody go. Uh, House of Dragon. See, they look like a big dim sim. Okay, so They're it's just offcuts of whatever. They're big. Okay. Look, look at that. Look at this Look at this fistful of giant dim sim. Get out of my face with that, Mason. Uh, House of Dragon, uh, Game of Thrones prequel. Oh, yes. The Last of Us. Ooh. The Lord of the Rings. Mm. Ooh, it's, uh, Moon Knight. Ooh. Ms. Marvel. Mm. Obity One Kenobi. Obity One Kenobi. Yep. Uh, yes. Pam and Tommy. Oh, with which uh, is, Sebastian um, Stan. And Lily James. Maybe. I want to say. Mm. Uh, Peacemaker. Uh-huh. Which is, which is starting very soon. Mm-hmm. The Sandman. Ooh. Shulk. Ooh. The Boys Season 3. Ooh. The Mandalorian Season 3. Ooh. Uh, Stranger Things Season 4. Ooh. Tedrick Lasso Season 3. I am more excited for the first season of a bunch of things as opposed to a, a, an, an additional season of a new thing. Like oh, which I'm, is why you're going to say Obi-Wan Kenobi? No. Uh, uh, but it's, it's in there. But uh, no, it's, yeah. See, for me, like, the shows that I liked the most this last year, 2021, whatever, uh-huh. are the shows that... I didn't know were coming. Mm. So I'd imagine I'm, I'm going to say Obi-Wan because yes. I'm very excited to see it, but I would be very surprised if it's my favourite show of the year. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. Oh, uh, gosh. And, and maybe it's because of his great hair-beard combination. That and might maybe, be it. And maybe he won't even be having it. I, I'm talking about my most anticipated. Yeah. I'm saying he might not even have it, but Oscar Isaac in Moon Knight. Uh, yeah, well, look, and, and on the topic of that, like I want to see how they do She-Hulk. Oh, yeah, definitely, yeah. What, like, Expensive, I'd imagine. Yeah, and you know, actually, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna switch to She Hulk, and it's maybe got Daredevil in it. Maybe I felt maybe, like maybe it does, but also I like the little with the t- we've got seen the tiniest yeah. snippets of it, and just this the idea that it looks like a sort of L.A. law, yeah, kind of 80s 90s legal dramedy kind of thing. I think that looks kind of fun, and I yeah. I would love to see. I want to see She Hulk be a big success, and then we put her in the MCU. Absolutely, that would be very good. Uh, also, I she- want also I want to know if she is fourth wall breaking. Like, is she going to do? Because yeah. she was Deadpool before Deadpool in the comics. She was. That's true. She was 
well aware, and, I, and she still is, I think, to some extent, that she is in a comic book. So I think I want to see if they incorporate that in. They don't have to, but I think it'd, it'd just be nice if, to see if they do it, you know? Uh, so also, um, just a quick shout-out to the Lord of the Rings 2022. The budget was expected to be in the range of 100 to $150 million per mm-hmm. season and was likely to eventually exceed $1 billion, which would make it the most expensive series of all time. What's that going to look like? One billion dollars. Yeah. How does yeah, that astounding. look? What's that going to look like? Anyway, uh, Kenobi, 35%, Moon Knight, 4%, and then 14%, sorry, and then The Boys, 9%. Yeah, just I guess I'm kind of excited to see. Now that you've said one billion dollars for, yeah. se- for a season of I mean, Lord I don't the care about Lord of the Rings no, at the moment. But, but just. Uh, how's that going to shake I out? Am, <laughs> it'd be fa- it's fascinating. Now you've said the figure, I'm, I'm, I want to see this just. Just the idea that it comes on and people go, oh, this is like the movies but maybe not as good. <laughs> a billion dollars. Yeah. I now, mean, we don't know. It's an estimate. Now, before we get to our, our later uh, – Are you going gonna to slot in your – I'm going to slot in. Before we place. get to worst movie ever and best movie ever, I, I want to give out an award for uh, – I, I call it the Find and Replace Award. Yeah. So it's the, it's the movie or TV series that seems most like – they just got a script they already had lying around, and they put in yep. a celebrity or a or a, or a branded IP, yep. uh, and and just were like, this will make money. So in the yep. past, uh, Rambo: Last Blood, which I totally. oh, also it doesn't seem it doesn't have like I don't need any proof, and it doesn't just to be clear, yeah, and it also doesn't just have that's to, to seem like it, it also doesn't have to be like the worst movie you've seen. No, that's true. It just has to be like so formulaic that you're like, did they just? Did an AI do this? You're talking about Red Notice. What are you talking about? Well, you pre- you, I haven't seen it. Here's the thing. So uh, one one year it was Rambo Last Blood, which I'm 100% confident was just a Liam Neeson, yeah. old man has to go to Mexico to rescue somebody's daughter movie, and they went, hey, we haven't done a Rambo in a while. Let's just make yeah. it a Rambo. Just, let's just copy out. Let's just cut out Liam Neeson and put Rambo in there. Please. And then I, I, think, I think one year I gave it to Joker. Because again, it's it's it's. Oh, okay. I yeah, know yeah. that was written from scratch, but it yeah. just felt like a Martin Scorsese movie. Yeah. But as I mentioned, uh, you know, just add a famous person, add a celebrity or a, or a, or a branded IP. So I think this year, uh, it's Jungle Cruise because it's just <laughs> it's just the Mummy. They just got the Mummy, yep. and they put the Rock in it. Yeah. And it's not as good. Yep. It's fine. Yep. And they will clearly like it's been twenty years. Let's we can go again on this one. Let's right? go again on this one, and yeah. it's just. And they did. Yeah. Like it's it's totally fine if you haven't seen The Mummy in a long time. I, and I, But I've seen it relatively recently. Yeah, so it wasn't I? as good, yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. I like that. Well, we should make sure we put that in Well, if, if anybody has any other suggestions, I would love to hear it because, again, I, you know. Probably Snake the, Eyes. The thing about, yeah, the thing about this award is a lot, it's, it's you know, it, it's given to a generic movie and we try to avoid incredibly yes, generic movies. Absolutely. That's Better very interesting. Is probably in there. Probably what about the Halloween Kills? Could that be anyone? Probably not. Oh, I mean, I mean. What about the Tomorrow War? Yeah, I mean that, that was I considered that one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I mean, that's not that's not like I feel like an IP that they yeah. found a script for. That's true. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. But anyway. yeah, Halloween, Halloween Kills, I, I uh, considered. Uh, but I guess like it, it feels to me like a lot of modern horror movies have just taken that that. Yeah. Michael Myers trope and made like if somebody if if another horror movie was exactly like that I'd be like yeah they've just ripped off Halloween absolutely but, yeah. I was just going through the list of movies for the because we're about to do the worst movie of the year mm. and I'm, or, or worst movie ever as we yeah. call it and I'm like these are fine and then I'm like oh no that one <laughs> so uh, I've figured it out yeah but we got to go through these well so we've got well we've got the each, each of these contains the entire list yeah so, so this just- is. Uh, the most, just a movie, yeah. the worst movie, the best movie. Okay, so let's just do the whole list and then we'll pick out our yep. best, just, our worst, our just, and our best. Yep, let's Okay, do it. so here's the list. This year's movies, Army of the Dead, mm-hmm. A Quiet Place Part 2, The Beach That Makes You Old, that Old be- Beach. That Beach Made Them Old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Black Widow, mm-hmm. uh, Chaos Walking, The Mind Snake. Yep. Uh, Cruella, mm-hmm. Dune. Oh, we like Dune. Uh, Ghostbusters Afterlife. Godzilla vs. Kong. Oh, yeah, that's right. Green Knight. That night was green. Eternals. More like boo, more like Eternals, whatever we said. Nice. There we go. Fast and Furious 9. Shit. Free guy. <laughs> Halloween Kills. Jungle Cruise. There it is. Yeah. The King's Man. We haven't seen that yet. No, we haven't. Uh, Last Night in Soho. Mm-hmm. Malignant. Mm-hmm. The Matrix Resurrections. Mm-hmm. Mortal Kombat. They didn't even do it, Mortal Kombat. No Time to Die. Yeah. Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Yes. Suicide Squad. Yes. Space Jam and New Legacy. Mm-hmm. Spider-Man No Way Home. Yep. Spiral from the Book of Saw. Yes. The Tomorrow War. 
Uh-huh. Thunder Force on Netflix, that <laughs> streaming service that you say, all hits, no misses. I didn't say so that. You say everything that comes out of it is pure gold. Scattershot is not always a bad thing. Venom 2, Let There Be Carnage, Zack Snyder's Justice League, and Snake Eyes, G.I. Joe Origins. So that's the pool so, to which yep. we, we need to draw from. So it. on the list here it says the worst one first. Yep. Now I didn't finish this movie. But Thunder Force. Oh, it's pretty bad. It's atrocious. Yeah. And I think also, like, I only watched that movie because you were like, you should watch 20 minutes of this. Yeah, and you didn't even get that far. I couldn't do it. So we sat together and watched it. It So I watched some of that movie twice. It was so devoid of charm and comedy. And what a cast. Yeah. What an absolute waste. Yeah. Just just the, the least, and just, like, the tropes of, like, She's at home and she's like, what am I going to have for dinner? Oh, there's a c- cigarette in this pizza and I'll just brush that off and I'll, oh, I don't have any <laughs> coffee. I'll just put some, I don't know, I'll just grind up an egg and drink it or something. You know what I mean? It's just that kind of shit. James, I don't know what you mean. I need more examples. <laughs> I need more examples from a brain that's already frazzled from coming up with two bad examples. I need more. No. Uh, it was look, bad. You're right. And, it, and the thing about Thunder Force is. What um, is it lampooning? I'll, I'll pick a different thing probably. Yeah. But, I, but Thunder Force because, like, it's so cynical in the fact that it clearly went, what's hot, superheroes? Yeah. All right, let's knock up the We cheapest, can make fun of that. The, the, just, the, just the easiest script in the world and just just throw it in there and just, is it, it's just, it's it's terrible. And, like, bad jokes and just. Yep. I'm looking for the budget. I can't find the budget Just a nonsensical concept. But, and, like, Melissa McCarthy, Octavia Spencer, Jason Bateman, Bobby Carnavale, come on! What yeah, you, right. how money? Yeah, yeah, yeah money. Yeah, uh, okay. and yeah. again, we we've, we've seen most of these. I didn't see Chaos Walking. I don't think anybody. No. Did. I, it would have um, been up there. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. again, King's Man. I haven't seen. Um, I mean, you know what else is up there? Space Jam is definitely up there. Oh, is that not on there? Yeah, no, it's up there. Oh, it is. Yeah. I mean, I guess the thing about Space Jam is like it's so expensive and just like yeah, the absolute audacity to put that together. Yeah, <laughs> you know yeah, I mean? like. <laughs> Because like, you know, Eternals not the movie for me. No, but I like that. I like that Marvel allowed somebody to do that vision. I did, no, it's not the vision for me, but I guess you know at least they went. Let's let's break out of the formula and try some stuff. The vision for you is Paul Bettany, if you don't mind me saying so. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, no, he played <laughs> the character of the, the Vision. That's why I said it. Yes, very nice. <laughs> you swept your cigarette off your pizza and you said the Vision is Paul Bettany. <laughs> Uh, you know what I'm talking about, that yeah, trope, right? Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I yeah. don't have a server yet. I'm going to use, I don't know. This pizza. <laughs> this pizza. To, wipe, to wipe pizza off me. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's good. Oh, my goodness. Um, I mean, Halloween Kills was bad. It was bad. It was bad. It was bad and filler. Yeah. Like a lot of a lot of stuff goes into what do you think is the worst movie. Yeah. I think bad and filler is like, a crime. I did not like Spiral from the Book of Saw at all. Yeah. I, you know what? I didn't like Fast and Furious 9 either. Yeah. Like I thought it was boring and bad and noisy and stupid, but not yeah. in the way that I that those movies that, also the the movies of those that I like are also noisy and stupid. That's true, yeah. But this felt, How would they have known, you yeah. Know? <laughs> Look, uh again like uh, Halloween kills bad. Um Godzilla versus Kong fine. I liked it, yeah. Yeah, you know what? For me, I think is the worst movie of the year was Space Jam: A New Legacy. It went forever. Like, it was so long, so cynically put together. It wasn't Just, funny. It wasn't. The funny. granny did the Matrix. Yeah, yeah twice. <laughs> did the Matrix, <laughs> and again, like, like again, at least Thunder Force. Melissa McCarthy's yeah, given it the, the Melissa McCarthy business. That's yeah. a bit of fun, but just. How do you tarnish the legacy of an already not good series? That's right, yeah. <laughs> you know? It's just... They had that good joke of Michael B. Jordan. Yeah, I guess that, that was That was the one good. thing, right? Yeah, yeah, I guess that was the one joke. And just like, and like the, the rules of the game was just like, oh, no, this is super basketball you where get you, style you get points star points and you do, if you do a super dunk and you... Yeah. And that, but then, and then Bugs Bunny died, but he did. Yeah. <laughs> this is just... I, I, I feel like they... Th- Warner's thought this is what their Spider-Man No Way Home would be. Yeah. Like, oh, we just throw in every IP we have and people have such a good time mm. pointing out all the things that they've And the seen crowd, before. like, aren't looking or reacting to yeah. anything. Yeah. And, like, all the interesting crowd are at the back. Yeah. And I don't like how they were, like, right to the wall of the – like, <laughs> sit them in seats. Yeah. Why are they so close? Just, just – you, you – you can't get away with just this awful cynical marketing exercise in IP management – by having a character go, by having uh, the guy, the bas- Mr. Basketball. Yeah. The guy. LeBron James. LeBron. 
You can't just have him go, yeah, this sounds bad, and then just just make it <laughs> it's bad. Like that's not that's not how the the idea of lampshading works. You can't just go, yeah. oh, this is pretty bad. Yeah, we know. Yeah, that what we're happens, watching it. What happens there is that just highlights to us yeah. that it's bad. What if an algorithm came up with movie ideas? What you should try it actually, because <laughs> it might be better than this. Get a get a Twitter bot to make a movie, and it'll be better than Space Jam: the New Legacy. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, look to be fair, I didn't finish. Um, I didn't even get to Jason Bateman in Thunder Force. Oh right, okay. Yeah, so no. I, I probably yeah. it wouldn't be ethical of me to say That's it was true. the worst movie. It'd be unethical. It just made me upset. And, I mean, the first rule of podcasting: first, do no harm. Yeah. You know? So it's Space Jam. Yeah. The money and just the awful. All right, what about just a movie? Oh, my God. Okay, for me, yep. um, I would have to say Eternals. Yeah, okay, sure. Um, I would have to say Jungle Cruise. Yeah. Because I'm just going through. Um, Mortal Kombat. Mm. Uh, the Tomorrow War also. Yeah. What about you? Ah, uh, boy. I mean, Snake Eyes is on there too. Yeah. But, I mean, obviously that's pol- that's a polarizing movie. Nobody would say that's just a movie. And we've got a review coming up. We've got a review coming up, In so four. we'll save that for, yeah, yeah. So, ah, uh, my goodness. What goes into just a movie? It's like you come um, out of a movie and it's you go, fine. and you have nothing to say, yeah. And you're just like it washes over you, yeah. And like you don't think about it. Mm. Like someone goes, "Did you see this thing?" And you go, "No, I, yeah, I did, I did see that." Maybe Godzilla versus Kong. Okay, I didn't hate yeah. it. No, I thought I mean, that was. I thought that was. Yeah, pr- pretty strong comparatively to some of these other okay, ones. Okay, right. Well, here. maybe I should keep looking. No, you can say yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. should say it if that's what uh, makes you happy. See, Mortal Kombat was bad, not just a movie, in my opinion. Okay, in sure. My, I am, I am H O. Yeah, uh, I'm going to say the Tomorrow War, even yeah. though I, I think I reviewed it fairly positively. Yeah, it's just kind of nothing. You know what I mean? Venom Two, Let There Be Carnage. Oh my See, god, that yeah, that's more that leans towards bad to me. Okay, like I think there's movies where you go, oh, I saw it's pretty, pretty all right and not bad, you know. But this, I'm like, no, that was bad. And well, I maybe like it's it. Ghostbusters Afterlife for me. Oh, yeah, it could be a movie. I a franchise, I should say, also yeah. that I have a complete indifference to. Yeah, I mean, at least in Godzilla versus Kong, they went to that weird underground upside down world. They went to and then they had that the the remember the battleship fight. No. They fought on the battleship, and at the end they fought the. Oh, that was and pretty they cool. Fought, and they fought the big robot at the yeah, end. Yeah, yeah, they fought a big robot. I mean, I'm reminding you of these things. That's true. Yeah, yeah. But that was all. Godzilla vs Kong was a hundred years ago. So that's true. It was. Mm. I think it was like March. I want to say. Jungle Cruise was very generic, as mentioned. But you did say that. But, uh, yeah. Oh, we didn't say what people's worst was. Oh yeah. What were you Let thinking of that? Uh, no, I'll do it here. I have it here. Okay. Space Jam, twenty one percent. Oh yeah, that's a bad one. The beat that makes you old, nine point five. Strong disagree <laughs> yeah, on right. that one. And yeah. then Thunder Force at nine percent. Good. I reckon. Ooh, no, I hated Fast and Furious Nine. Yeah, I'm going to say the Tomorrow War. Yeah, fair enough. It was just a movie. Mm. You know, I'd even recommend it. Be like, "What's this like?" And I'd be like, "Yeah." yeah, yeah. The Matrix Resurrections. Oh yeah, that's, yeah. Fair. That's. I mean, you know, again, I think there's a. I think there's a lot of discussions to be had. Yep. But I didn't come out. I didn't. But I went out in, in that movie. Like I, I like. I like that we can. People can talk about it, and it's it's a fun. You know, it's a fun discussion point for people. It's in the discourse. Yes. I like that. Maybe in the future I'll be like, oh, I enjoyed that more than I thought I did. But coming out of that, I'm like, I liked some of this and not other bits of this. Yep. And I'm it, no strong feelings really. Wow. You know, so what absolute commitment! Mm. I can't argue with any of that. I didn't hate it either. Yeah, no, I wasn't like, that's this what is, it's about. This is a betrayal of everything. The but Matrix down. That's care. what it's yeah, about. That's exactly though. what it's this, about. This you've You're like right. you've landed on the exact yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the just a movie that people wrote is our Black Widow, nineteen percent. Yeah, I can understand that. The Eternals, ten percent, and then the Tomorrow War at seven percent. Mm. Now we've got. Oh, yeah, maybe it was Black Widow. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I liked Black. I think yeah. it was better than that for me. Mm. The best movie ever for me. Ooh. It's a toss up between Dune. Dune is good. Uh, is Jun- Dune is good. You yes. know that slogan. <laughs> that's good. The ads in the 80s. Uh, Halloween Kills. Of course. And sure. No Time to Die. Mm. No, it's between Dune and No Time to Die. Yeah, and yeah, I did yeah, mention yeah. this on Suggestible. I think No Time to Die. It probably wasn't like my favorite movie that I saw, Mm -hmm. but in terms of blockbusters, it was the one that I think resonated with me the most. It tied in a whole lot of. Because you're getting old. Because I'm getting old. Mm -hmm. Then Uh, why didn't you like the beast that makes you old? Because it made me get old too fast. Oh, no. Yeah. Um, I liked, <laughs> I liked huh. that all the elements that of the previous movies, even the things I don't like in the Craig mm. films, came around in a positive way. Uh, yep. I s- semi spoiler, I guess, but I like how it definitively closed the book on this James Bond chapter. Mm. It's it's very much its own thing now, for good yeah, or yeah. ill. Mm-hmm. I think it encapsulates. I think it took everything about that series mm-hmm. that is good or bad and made it good. 
I cannot disagree. And I think that I'm also going to say No Time to Die. I thought it was a delight. It's an absolute delight. And it also it looked amazing. Like yeah. I thought Spectre was kind of weird and blurry and foggy and mm. grey and brown. Yeah, and this, this had, again, the, 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 the thing about this movie is there was, a, there was a single scene in this movie that was kind of foggy and dim and green. But you could still see it. And it but that was, <laughs> and that was because it was in a dim, dark forest. And, and with it was real by con- fog, probably. By, by contrast to the, the rest of the movie, yeah. which was colourful and just, just beautiful kind of, you know, international intri- scenes of intrigue and different environments and countries, and it all felt, it, it felt like an international high-flying adventure Yep. And it was nice to see Daniel Craig and Ana de Armas together exactly. again. Exactly. Super fun. I mean, Jeffrey Wright is Felix Leiter. Even Leah Sudu, who was like, I do not believe that these people even like each other. I thought that worked. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I Look, probably wasn't the strongest villain because he's just like, I'm, I'm going to start a new world order. Yeah, yeah, we know. Yeah, whatever. Mate, whatever. I liked uh, uh, Lashana Lynch as the new James Bond. Mm. Uh, not James, 007. No, they called, they the called new James, James Bond. Bond. Yeah, yeah. You know, like Billy Magnuson was in it. They... Bond, M, M here, Bond. <laughs> Put a new Bond. Her name is Bond, James Bond. Bond, James, James, Bond. Jane Bond. Mm. Uh, so, look, I just, and look, I wasn't expecting to like it, expecting. Mm. Yes. Thanks. Mm. But uh, I just thought it was wonderful, mm. as I mentioned, and terrific and fun. But shout out to June, which was good. June was also good. And The Green Knight, which was also good. Mm. Green Knight and was good. And Suicide Squad, which was good. Mm. And Spider Man was good. There's a lot of good movies. Yeah, good movies. It's good when movies are good. I liked Cruella. Like, it wasn't my favourite, mm-hmm. but I liked it. Now, what did the listeners prefer? What was their favourite movie of the year? They refused to participate. Was it they Spider-Man? They said, oh, yes, <laughs> at 40%. <laughs> Followed by Dune at 21%. Oh, Dune! And then The Suicide Squad at 10%. Ooh. I mean, all of those are good. I can't mm. really argue with any yeah, of that. Yeah, it would, it would be wild if somebody – it would be wild if 40% of our listeners were like, no, yeah. Mortal Kombat was the best movie <laughs> this year. You know what else I liked about James Bond as well? Mm-hmm. They went places. Yeah. I mean, they went places with the characters. Yeah. You know what I mean? They took. They went there. He wore a corduroy three-button suit and he buttoned the top button. Is he allowed to do that? Not really. Illegal. Right? Jail. Yeah. Not fashion jail, real jail. Real jail for that. Put Daniel Craig in jail. <laughs> they should put him in jail. What, are you trying to start a trend, <laughs> Daniel Craig? I think he might be a little bit buttoning the top button. But he, um, well, he was also terrific. Yep. Mm-hmm. And the other part was that, just seeing all these locations, it gave me the sense of those old James Bond movies where you're mm. seeing things you haven't seen before and beautiful, like, vistas and locales mm. and locale. That's why I say, that's how I say locations. Yes. Just everything, like, also everything I like about Bond, it also yeah. did. It's, I mean, it could have been a disaster. It should have been a disaster. It should have been a disaster, <laughs> especially there was there was so much time, as it were, to look forward oh, to it. beautiful calendar. And to talk, and to, and to, you know, to, to, inevitably be let down by this. And also Daniel Craig didn't want to come back for another one. Yep. So there was, you know, when, when an actor doesn't want to come back for something and then they do, a lot of the time yeah. they're absolutely phoning it in and it's terrible. Yeah. But clearly he has enough sway in the development of these movies to be like, I'm only, I will quit in the middle of this if it's not good. <laughs> you know, so. I didn't on the last one, but this one I will. Yeah. Anyways. You have uh, to get the other Bond in to do it. Yes. Most anticipated movie of 2022. Ooh. Do you want to read the list? Avatar 2. Yep. Oh, my God. The Batman. Mm-hmm. Black Adam. Okay. Black Panther Wakanda Forever. That'll be interesting. Death on the Nile. That'll be interesting. Yeah. <laughs> what are they going to cut out? Who are they going to cut out of that? <laughs> At the end of the movie, it'll just be like, well, the killer's the one actor that's still left in this movie. <laughs> It's Kenneth Branagh, he did it. Uh, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Yep. Fantastic Beast Secrets of Dumbledore. Get fucked. The Flash. Oh, Halloween yeah. ends. I'm not I'm not like against that. Right. Let's see like a, yeah. a, a real movie, please. Jurassic World Dominion. Yeah. Lightyear. Buzz Lightyear, but for real. Loved that trailer. Mm, yeah. Morbius. No. Uh oh. This is Mission Impossible Seven. That can't be right. I don't, might be. I think it's nine, isn't it? Nine? I have no idea. All that is eight, right? I don't know. <laughs> or is it's seven and eight? No, that, this is absolutely right. It is okay. Yeah, yeah Fallout was six. Sorry, I've <laughs> doesn't matter. Uh, so yeah, seven is coming in twenty two. Yeah, uh, Scream, right. Scream reboot. Oh yeah. Uh, Spider Man Across the Spider Verse Part One. Yeah, cool. Thor: Love and Thunder. Yep. Top Gun: Loser. Yep. Uncharted. Yep. The unbearable weight of massive talent. That Nicholas Gage thing. Yeah. Mm. Now, um, look, this also to me, I, I'm not. Is it like I think this will be the best movie? Mm. This is the one that I'm like, I'm interested to see what this is. Yes. So, like, it might be like, what if Morbius is good? Mm. But, like, 
This isn't me necessarily saying that. Like more BS, am I right? Yeah. <laughs> and by that I mean more bloody Sony, James, am I right? Not bloody. You know what they're like. Yeah, yeah, I know yeah, what they're like. Yeah, bloody Sony. Like, uh, part of me wants to say Avatar 2. <laughs> okay, no, yeah, and I'll yeah, tell you why, yeah, though, because yeah. not looking forward to it at all. Mm. Didn't really like the first one. Yeah. But it's James Cameron, and he has pretty much exclusively made giant. Movies that have been commercially and critically successful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, even though he hasn't made a movie in 140,000 years. That's true. I, you cannot rule yeah. him out. You that's can't true. say that he's, even though he came out and said Terminator Genesis is good no, that's and it's the best that. movie he's ever seen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You cannot rule it out. That's true. That's, again, that's not me saying that it will be good, mm. but I'm saying interesting. Yeah. What, what, right. what do you think? Ooh. Like, even The Flash, like, do I, I want to see Keaton again? But like, yeah. uh, but everything before. else, I'm like. Well, so you've seen him like four times in the last year. That's true. Uh, yeah. Do I want to see you Ezra Miller? Not uh, really. Ah, yeah. Ooh, great. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I mean, Spider Verse. Yeah, terrific. Stuff. I mean, the Batman definitely, absolutely. Yep. Would you know? Very excited to see that incarnation. It is the Batman again. Yes. I mean, look. Let's 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 put a pin in that one because that's okay. pretty good. But also Thor: Love and Thunder. Yeah, haven't seen enough of it. I think it will be like yeah. fun and silly. But also Mission Impossible 7. Yeah, what's he up to? Ooh. How will he kill himself this time? Yeah, maybe for real this time. Yeah. yeah. What about Doctor Strange? I think that's hiding a lot. Oh, yeah, right. You, you're th- you're, when you say a lot, you mean more guest, guest appearances. That's exactly what I mean. Yeah, no, I don't, I, don't want, I don't want to rely on a movie just being yeah. cameos. Uh, I think Lightyear looks really good. Yeah, right. Did you think Lightyear looked good? I thought it looked okay. How do you? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go with... Uncharted. Good no, choice. Good no, choice, Mason. I'm gonna, no, I'm going to go with the Batman. I'm going to go with the Batman. Yeah. I want to see Pattinson do his thing. Yep. And he's looking swole. I'm thinking, like, is this the movie that I want to see the most or is this the movie that I'm most intrigued about? You know, because most intrigued would probably be Avatar too. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, like, Spider-Verse, the new one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to that, but I'm also, like, they'll probably nail that. Yeah, probably. right. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Look, I want to see the Batman. I think maybe this is the one where he'll do some detecting. Yep. That's that's all I want. All right. Well, I'm going to say Avatar 2 mm. out of pure morbid curiosity. Nice. And also Morbius out of Morbius curiosity. Okay, terrific. What if Morbius is terrific? Morbiosity. What if we come it's out morbid and we go, wow, Yeah. this Michael Dracula has really had a good day. Right? He's so buoyant. That's why he floats <laughs> in the subway. That was so incredible. I loved it. I loved that. that that taught us a valuable lesson about humanity or something. Let's see what people liked. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Batman, 40%. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, 20%. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, Doctor mm-hmm. Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, 14%. Mm-hmm. Also, James Cameron, yes. what's he doing with new stuff in cinemas? That's you know what true. I mean? What am I, what am I witnessing? Is he going to fill up every cinema with water and you your own little submarine? Is he going to drown cinema goers? He's going to do that because <laughs> it's the only way they'll learn. <laughs> We've also got uh, the last one is... The Listener's Choice Award for Best Podcast, and we've got his Suggestible, which is my less successful podcast oh, that I do with my wife. We also did a yearly wrap-up, actually, which is up now if people oh, want to I bet it's it more out. intellectual. It's very intellectual, I bet it's Mason. All, but it's all, it was your favourite movie. Earth was the works of Marcel Proust. <laughs> did you listen? Yeah, 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 that's right, yeah. It's you, books. It's the best movie of the year was the love of books and reading. You can, you can, it's like watching a movie in your mm, mind. That's right. Yeah. The best rap song that works of William Shakespeare, <laughs> the original rapper. That's what your episode was like. Oh, the whole thing. And both of us had our chairs around. Yeah. Just, you know. Yeah. Just dropping truth bombs. That's right. Anyway, it won at 100% suggestible. Nice. So that's nice. really good. good work. Thank you good so job. Thank you so much, everybody. And also didn't have an option to <laughs> thank add. Thank you for the indulgence that is this every <laughs> single year. Yeah. Wow. Uh, thank you, really, everybody who, who, who came to the to party with this. Do you yeah. know what I mean? This couldn't have been an easy thing and to fill out. what a party out. that would have been in real life. Like 3,000 people. My goodness. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. Just like, because that was... I mean, you have to think about these, I'd imagine, probably a lot. Sure. Yeah. Or you just... Yeah, you can do that too, can't yeah, you? Yeah, you just absolutely... Uh, if you have any, you know, you have any thoughts, email, email them in. Or he, we're, talking about, we're talking about things we're going to email oh, nice. about in a second. Thank you again to Raw Collins for putting that list together as he does every year. That's right. And thank you to Mason for remembering that one thing he contrib- contributes but that didn't send it across to Raw Collins to put it in the thing. Yeah. Also, I only thought of it today. Also, should we like maybe just keep that as a thing that you bring up? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> if I remember, off. sure. Yeah. Some years we'll have it, some years we won't. Fantastic. Yeah. Do you know what it's time for then? It's time for what we're reading. Yep. What are we going to read? That's exactly what it's time yeah. for. Man, I can't believe it's time for that already. That's right. It it's, is, though. Uh-oh. What's unavailable. What, what's unavailable? That's not good. The internet? No, it's um, 
one of my computer drives uh, yes. has been disappearing. Oh. <laughs> so, and, it's, and it's not here at the moment. Interesting. So, Collins, if you can put in that song, that would be great. <laughs> Terrific. It's going to go in here. Yeah, right, right, right. But the, 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 the show itself is... Oh, the show's fine. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. That's terrific. I'm doing the theme. Westworld. <laughs> He's going to put that in. He's going to put in that in also. Up. Fresh Westworld. What are you reading, Mason? Well, today I watched, because it's new on a Stan, as we mentioned, streaming service Stan. Yes. There's a, it's a show, it's, it's, um, in America it's going to be on HBO Max and it's going to be on BBC One in the UK. It's called The Tourist. Oh, it's got um, Jamie. It's a, it's set in Australia. It's got Jamie Dornan. I know. Oh, know. I saw the trailer for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's uh, it's Jamie Dornan plays a man who is in a car accident, and then he wakes up in the hospital with no memory of who he is and why he's in out in outback Australia. So uh, and it, it, why crime is the reason? Probably oh no, crime. is he okay? He's doing crime. Is he just pretending to have no memory? No, he's definitely got no memory. Oh no. But uh, uh, Jamie Dornan is a very charming. Uh, it's, uh, isn't, no, he is very, okay. uh, very good cast. There's a woman named Danielle McDonald who I, I've not seen before in anything, but she plays a sort of a small town cop. Who's like trying to, trying to do the right thing. And she's getting oh, muddled up on all this crime as well. Very good. Crimes. Alex Dimitriatis is in this. Oh, he's been around. I mean, uh, he's still been consistent. The heartbreak kid, heartbreak kid. Um, and, uh, also, uh, if you're a fan of Australian comedy, a couple of people make little guest appearances, <gasps> including, uh, Greg Larson, who people will know from, <gasps> From the podcast The Grub and other things, yep. or his famous character Mr. Oily, uh, he's in it. He's got a substantial role. But uh, you might also know uh, comedian Brett Blake, who is... Uh, is I don't uh, know Brett Blake. Oh, he's very funny, very funny man. He's got a podcast as well called Flat Stick. Yeah. Uh, and uh, he's in it as well. He's got a little role in it Am well. I in it? No. Yeah, I mean, I haven't seen every episode, but I'm confident you are not in it. Well, I can't wait for you to get to episode cool. 11. Ooh. How many episodes are there? Six. Episode, yeah, next season. Okay. <laughs> it's terrific. <laughs> Terrific. Now, as mentioned, I did read, uh, read, watch Book of Boba Fett. Oh, yeah, uh, I, did too, I yeah. thought it was all right. I, I thought quite liked it. it. Right. And you were like, you, I think you were less big on it than I, I said was. it was a bit Arrow. Yeah, because, because the, 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 the first the first couple of seasons of Arrow, it's uh, it's it's Arrow fighting crime in the big city. But then it's also flashbacks to how he got yep. there. He was on an island for a while. But also think about this. Go on. That first season of Arrow was pretty good. It was pretty. I liked it. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Uh, so, yeah, as again, I did that Star Wars Explained thing with uh, Molly and Alex over at Star mm. Wars Explained, the YouTube channel. We did yeah. a couple of hours on that. Anyway, also, I've been watching a YouTuber, which I've just discovered, called uh, FD Signifier, and he does uh, video essays. Uh, ah, sorry, this stupid Steam. I have Steam, and it opens up when I because huh. I restart my computer. The thing reappeared mm. anyway. And it's like, Steam's ready. And I'm like, I never play. I never go into this. Stop <laughs> opening all the time. Anyway, uh, FD Signifier, uh, video <laughs> essay creator on black movies and media. What was your favourite game of the year? Was it on Steam? Well, I prefer... Um, Books. The Industrial Revolution, <laughs> a book on the Industrial Revolution. <laughs> Steam-powered things. That's what I like. It's very good. Yeah, so I'm unsuggestible. So is... Oh, look at us. We're all suggestible. <laughs> Ugh. He's um he's a terrific vis- uh, video essayist, mm-hmm. and he also it, like he did recently did a video breaking down like got bread tube and how he got from like the, the YouTube of the early days up into the modern day. And, and bread like, tube is like left lefty, uh, yeah. Lefty, but also lefty how he's essays. like there's a lot of white people doing bread tube, and I'm like that's a very good point actually. <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, so he, he does he obviously talks about like his experience as a black creator and mm-hmm. and in relation to other creators as well, but also in media. He's got a really terrific uh, couple of episodes that go back to back. Which are Ed, Edge Lord movies uh-huh. and and the men who love them. Uh, so they look at like so he looks at like Joker and Falling Down, you know, uh-huh. and yeah, how yeah. those and like the messages that people take from them and also, but also the how hype. easy it is to become the Joker. Yeah, exactly. But also like the hype behind the Joker. You no, know, it's like it's a bit silly that people are like this is going to cause like you know mass chaos and it's you know and etc. Mm. But he also talks about the impossible white man trope, which is basically like he got the idea from Christopher Nolan films, and it's also you see it in like you know, John Wick movies and it's like everyday looking dudes, not yeah. always, not always white dudes. And he talks about that and how like they look like, you know, just anybody, but then they're in a situation. It's like, Oh, actually they've got skills. This is Liam yeah, Neeson. Right, right. And he also talks about how the evolution of that mm-hmm. and how it becomes now, how it's turned into older white men because the audience has aged up with yeah, it. Right. So it starts with Bruce Willis in the eighties, uh-huh. but now we're, we're accepting of like an 80 year old man beating up, you know, whatever. <laughs> yeah. And I, it's, he's just, he's a, he's, it's fascinating and really interesting yeah. and I'm really glad I came across it. So check out FD Signifier 
if you can, oh, which I, you can because you've got YouTube. I do have YouTube and I love YouTube. Yeah. I actually just remembered I also watched, there's a, I watched a show, a movie on Amazon called The Protégé, which is, remember a couple oh, of- Oh, that's the Kate and Yeah, remember a couple of Maggie months ago I talked Q? about that movie, Kate, yeah. which is about a woman, uh, she's ra- she's raised, she's she's found as a little girl and she's sort of raised to be a killer and then there's bloody all the, betrayed, betrayal on all sides and action and whatever. Uh, Protégé, it's exactly the same movie except it's got um, Maggie Q and- um, Michael Keaton and Samuel L. Jackson. Good. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. good. Pretty good is pretty, pretty good. good. That was pretty good. Excellent. Is it time mm. to move on to the next segment of the show? Nearly. Uh, it's nearly time, is it? Nearly time. I'm just going to see if anything, I watch anything, anything exciting to watch anything, buddy, buddy. Mason, if, is there or is there not something exciting that you're No, watching? there's nothing exciting. There's, okay. there's nothing exciting and there never will be. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. All right, but it's time for letters. Yeah. The classic one was letters, oh, letters, we love you, some letters. This is the segment of the show where we go, hey, send us an email at weeklyplanetpod at gmail.com if you've got something to say. Which we call letters. We call it but letters. they're not actually letters. No, it's, a, it's not a physical it's letter. It's time to come clean. 2022, the year of coming clean. We say letters. Yep. They're not by any, well, by some definitions, I guess they're letters. I'm going to keep some secrets if you don't mind in 2022. I'm not going to come clean for everything. Okay. 2022, the year of doing whatever you want. Yeah. Yeah, nice. No apologies. No Just apologies. Whatever. Never back Just down. whatever. Also, hashtag Weekly Planet Pod on Twitter. That's right. If you do want to do that. Yeah. To reach us on Twitter. What have you got in terms of letters, mate? This Mason? is from Adam Fish. Adam Fish. Great name. I like that. I think. Uh, James P-H-I-S-H? F-I-S-H. For his Standard spelling. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's not, he, he wasn't the inspiration for the band Fish, yep. nor was he named after the band Fish. Okay. Maybe maybe his parents didn't know yeah. that fish was the band was spelled that way. That's maybe that's true because yeah. they'd only heard them on vinyl. Fish FM, <laughs> fish FM. <laughs> exclusive fish radio station. Just just correct. Uh, greetings from the UK. Hello. Where fish is not that popular, I would imagine. <laughs> I, I mean, unless it's paired with chips, obviously. <laughs> Just wanted to say thank you for making my walks to work more bearable. Not a movie or comic question, but I work in a pub and was wondering if Australians really don't drink Fosters. Every British drinker says you don't, but a real-life Aussie has never confirmed this. P.S. Can I be... It's from Adam. P.S. Can I be the official Instagram toy photographer of the show? Oh. Uh, his handle is if underscore toys underscore talk. I love... Oh, and Merry Christmas from the UK. Things. Yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. I love... Uh, sometimes people do like... Uh, like a Transformers transform, they'll yeah. the, or they'll line up all the new the new Transformers. What like is it? They've, they've got to- all the Galvatrons or something, and they're like, "Here's every Galvatron." You like, like seeing every every Galvatron, do. don't you? Yes. Well, I'm just looking at this now. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. People should check it out. He do- does that thing with like particle effects. You know what I mean? Oh, well, and like smoke, so it gives it like depth and like definition and stuff. Nice. Really good. Ooh. Cool. But to answer your question. We don't drink Fosters, no. No, it's dog Although, shit. isn't it? It's fine. Look, yeah. most beers, whatever. I think it, it, it's is... a different – you can get Fosters in other countries, but it's like a different formulation. Yeah. It's something else. I wouldn't, like, not drink it. Yes. But if you're at a bar and somebody said, like, in, you know, you're, you're splitting jugs and whatever, <laughs> it's a jug of beer. Yeah, that's what we say in Australia. Um, and somebody walked over and was like, I got a Fosters. It, they would be like, why did you Why'd get you that? Why did you do that? Yeah, and not like – why are you were announcing it proudly? Also, yeah. what's going on there? You get a, are you getting it as a joke? Is you might that why? get a you might get a furphy or a VB. Yeah, depending where you are, what state you're in. Yeah, some places do a twoies. You'd get a book. I'd get a book. <laughs> That's your favorite beer on suggestible, isn't it? <laughs> Reading a book. <laughs> what's the book on though, Mason? Ferment the fer- fermentation process. Oh, is it okay? An early an early farming wow. <laughs> agriculture. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it could be quite interesting. It wasn't. Yeah. Just kidding, I loved books. And it, uh, yeah, so that adds to that question. Yeah, Good that's stuff. Right. Yep. This is from Quinton PhD, who says, hashtag Weekly Planet Pod. Dear the Weekly Planet, I hope the holidays were good for both of you. They were, I think. Yeah. I'm writing in to see if you could uh, get a, we can get a review, review for The Wheel of Time. It's a wonderful show. It helps I've tricked, if it helps, I've tricked six people into listening to the pod and will continue to do, do so regardless if you choose not to. I started the Wheel of Time. Did you? I uh, enjoy. I've been enjoying it, but I have not finished the Wheel oh, of Time. Oh, how many episodes are you in? Like four, maybe. Oh, yeah. Have you been watching it? No, not yet. How is the? Uh, has the production value? It is lower than a Lord of the Rings, right? But higher than say. So it's lower than a, a billion s- dollar television show. <laughs> no, sorry, I meant to say Game of Thrones. Okay, right, uh, right. But it is. But it's like it's slightly above. Do you ever see the Shannara Chronicles? 
No. It's when you watch that show. Okay, I'll watch the Shinara when you Chronicle. Watch when show, I watch the Shinara Chronicle. You'll get a good idea of the budget. Terrific. Yeah. Maybe a bit better than that. Mm. But no, it doesn't it doesn't look bad by any account. Yeah. It looks it looks quite good. Mm. But uh no, I, I plan to get around to it. But I not no immediate plans. Yeah, I'll, look, I'll watch the first couple. I'll, I'll, this week I watch got the, Rosamund Pike. I like Rosamund Pike. I'll, okay, I'll watch an episode of the Wheel of the Wheel of Time. Mm. The Wheel of Time. Wheel of Time. Wheel of Time. They're always talking about we got to break the Wheel of Time. Whoa! And I'm like, isn't this a Game of Thrones? Isn't yeah, this like, Game of Thrones? They're like, spin the Wheel of Time and then pick a letter. Yeah, huh? <laughs> might be before Game of Thrones or after. I don't mm. know. I haven't thought about it. Mason, what's next? This is from, this is an email from Leo. Regional dispute. Okay. Hi there, James and Mesa. I've been listening to the show since 2014. This. How time flies. How is My that name's possible? Leo, and I'm from Houston, Texas. We have a city rivalry with Dallas, and I want you to officially decide which city is better once and for all. Dallas or Houston? Yes. Wow. He's which one here. has the cowboy? He's, uh, Dallas, the Dallas Cowboys. That's Dallas right. Cowboys. Well, he's written here. I'll and the Houston have the Rockets, correct? Houston have the Rockets because they have uh, – Houston is home of NASA. Yep. It's the Rockets. And the largest medical center in the world, which includes one of the best cancer centers that is helping fight cancer, but don't let that affect your decision. We won't let it affect it. We've scratched that off. I don't care about don't any care. of that. We We just said the rockets or the the and a rocket nuggets. A rocket Denver nuggets. A rocket. Different. A rocket could kill a cowboy. That's very true. Yeah. Okay. So Houston. So that's one for rock. That's one for Houston. A cowboy could ride the rocket, but to what end? Doctor Strange love to like destroy its own city. Yeah. So the city it's going to hit any yeah, regardless. Yeah. 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 What do you think? They both have barbecue. Like yeah, a, like a Texas barbecue, so that's good. Okay, uh, you're not you're not a fan. <laughs> no, I just don't think it's like people are always like we've got barbecue. It's like yeah, everyone has yeah, barbecue. Yeah, yeah. No one cares. Okay, he, like I mean, that, Houston does have NASA. Yep, but Dallas has the TV show Dallas, and on Dallas, remember that some guy died or something on Dallas. J-J-R. And then later he woke up and it's like, oh, it was all a dream. Like that was the whole. He, was a, he didn't get shot? He didn't get shot, it turned out, because they just brought the actor back and it was like, oh, it was all a dream. So that's the origin of the trope. Like if you if you if you oh. painted yourself, in, this is the origin of if you, if you if you're writing a TV show and you've painted yourself into a corner, you yeah. can just say it was all a dream. Like uh, the, the Dallas is the home of the incredibly lazy retcon, which I think gives it an edge. Okay, well, but make. also, yeah. Rockets. Rockets are pretty good, actually. I mean, if that man had been shot by a rocket, yeah. I could still say it was a dream. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, you it's can't. A tough call. Yeah, you, rockets. The only thing that can defeat rockets are dreams. You know, <laughs> which I believe is Dallas's. Uh, that's their state motto. They, yeah, yeah. They state the state of Dallas. And you know what? Na- NASA did hire all those Nazis. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And they were like, "We're Nazis," and NASA was like, "Yeah, we know. We, we like know. that. We, we set, like that. We, yeah. Yeah." We like that here in Houston, Texas. <laughs> so, you know. What do we choose? Dallas. Seems that way, doesn't it? Mm. And because of that show. Yeah, yeah. And they brought it back recently. They did somehow, yeah. Yeah. And then I think that guy somehow died in Dallas life. is returned. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's the answer he wanted. Kansas no, it's Center, the opposite. Though. In a way, it's in a way, in, in, in pitching it to me as if he wanted yeah. me to choose something, I've just found a way to justify choosing the other thing. Cancer, though. Yeah. Wait, cancer center for good? But I don't think Dallas is for cancer. <laughs> I don't know. Generally. I don't know, to be honest. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Anyway, something to think about. Mm. It's from Ian Jackson. It says, hashtag weekly platter pod. How about including the game is over and the end of year awards? You're too late, Ian Jackson. Uh, <laughs> book ending the game is on, the one that goes to a movie that's full of fan service and calls back to past movies in the franchise, mm. uh, that which are also completing an arc. So I guess you could say Spider-Man No Way Home. You could say Ghostbusters Afterlife. Mm. You could say The Matrix. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What else was a callback movie this year? Uh, most of them. Let me check yeah. the list. But completing an arc, you know what I mean? Yeah, right, 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 right. Yeah, they're more satisfying. Aren't I would they? say probably Spider-Man completed a big arc, didn't mm, it? Yeah, it sure did. Interesting. Actually, mm. Ghostbusters completed a hell of an arc, didn't it? Yeah, and they went no more Ghostbusters. Yeah, that was the that was the Logan, I think, of, of, the, of the Ghostbusters franchise. Except it wasn't as good by like quite a long way. Oh, I see what you're saying there. Mm. It's not that I don't like Ghostbusters, Mason. I think it's <laughs> it's that you hate Ghostbusters. <laughs> it's just, it's stronger than dislike. I think you might be right. Yeah, uh, you got any more letters? No, that's every letter. Then that's the show. For now. Final episode of the year. That's, That's right, right. Folks. We're not coming back. Yeah. yeah. We'll be back for 2022, though. I was just looking at when we are coming year. back. That's right. Um, we, we're looking at when we're coming back. It'll either be the 24th or the mm-hmm. 31st. Okay. And I think it might be the 31st. Okay. And then we're going to squeak. So we're going to squeak in uh, a Snake Eyes review because <laughs> yeah, obviously yeah. we didn't get to it. Mm-hmm. And then we're going to. We're going to squeak the snake. That's right. <laughs> Most That's anticipated. What we say. And then yeah. guess what comes out the next week straight up? Mr. Michael Morbius himself. Oh, no. 
I think so, at least anyway. Or wow. well, maybe Uncharted's out then. So some oh, no. some pile of crap is <laughs> two, what you're saying. Two sody piles of crap. Wow. Wait, Uncharted is in February 17th. I have more faith in Uncharted, for sure. <laughs> yeah. But that's we'll probably see. just because I like one of the actors in it more. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. As opposed to the other one where I like Oh, wow. Of Actually, straight out the gate, yeah. we're doing Morbius. Nice. Because it's the 28th of January. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. That's incredible. So, well, anyway. so we, I guess we'll do a Morbius episode, and then we might do an episode on, like, we, we can do a Morbius episode, and then once that's out of the way, we can do an episode on the movies we're excited to for in 2022. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So that works out perfectly. I mean, we kind of covered this also already, but yeah, yeah. anyway, what, what else, Mason? Folks, thank you so much for listening. Yes. Thank you for the year 2021. I'm glad so many people stuck around. It's very exciting. I'm glad a lot of you are still alive. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Yeah, it's good for um, us metrics-wise also. Oh, definitely, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dead people very rarely hit that repeat button. That, you're not wrong. Cycle through old episodes. So yeah. that's actually really good for us. Uh, folks, uh, thank you for listening and uh, subscribing and uh, telling a friend or, in fact, lying to your friends to get them to listen to the podcast or leaving Brands. a nice review, which you can do on any platform, including now Spotify, as previously yep. mentioned. Uh, James, you got any five star reviews? I got a there? couple here, five stars. You can do it in app, like Mason said. It's from Spurred and 1109. It says, good slash bad. Oh. Giving five stars because they told me to. Don't even like it. Or it's an amazing podcast that I've been listening to consistently for years. One of those two. Ooh. And we got another one here from Speed Blanket who says, five stars, best podcast, maybe, but also yes. Nice. Uh, I'm on what you call an oddball, a lame duck, if you will. I don't like most podcasts, <laughs> but The Weekly Planet is an exception. It ticks all the boxes. Tick. 100% accurate and reliable information. Tick. Banter about James's attraction to Lola Bunny. True. Tick. Not true. Cross, if anything. <laughs> Talk about sandwiches, the big kind. Tick. Mm. Defeating wizards with half a brick. And then most importantly, tick. Westworld, if you're looking for a good laugh, give it a go. Or if you don't like to laugh, maybe listen to another podcast. You idiot. There we go. That's that's terrific. Two now, of beautiful course, reviews. Now, of course, you can leave a review of less than five stars, but we will never read it out. No, exactly. But I tell you what, tell you what. Don't guys, waste your fucking breath. Over on Spotify. Uh, newly, newly uh, uh, reviewable over yeah. there. We've got two thousand reviews, average of five stars. So Excellent, doing, doing pretty good. That's We're actually looking to get, uh, to acquire a hundred million Spotify deal to go there exclusively. Oh, nice! Uh, we will lessen the platform that this is available on, but also we'll have a hundred million dollars, and we don't give a shit. <laughs> That's right. Could any of you say anything <laughs> else other than that? No, no. All I'm saying is, who wouldn't take a hundred million dollars? Right. I'm not even kidding. I would. Of course, I would. Mm. I'd rather take books, quite <laughs> frankly. You can't eat a book, Mason, comfortably. That's very, actually very true. Yeah. Uh, folks, uh, if you want to get into contact with us, you can go to Weekly Planet Pod at Gmail, at Facebook, at Twitter, at Bandcamp. You can go to the Planet Broadcasting Great Mates Facebook group. You can go to Weekly Planet Pod on Reddit and Discord if you want to have fun, a good time at chats about podcasts and pop culture. Everybody's having a grand time over there. I That's think. right, folks. If you wanna, you you wanna follow our friend Rob Collings, who edits this show oh. and edits all sorts of videos and all kinds of stuff. Does all sorts of stuff behind the scenes. He's at the Weekly Planet on Twitter. He's at Raw Collings on Twitter. Yep. You can follow me on Twitter at uh, Wikipedia Brown and on Instagram I'm Nick Maso N I C K M A S E A U. Mm-hmm, James is Mister mm-hmm. Sunday Movies. Everywhere. If you want to support the show, you can go to patreoncom slash Sunday Movies. Chuck in a buck or any amount, whatever you want. James yep. is making funny faces. You're doing funny faces. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. Uh, you can chuck in any, any amount you wouldn't miss is the, is the key there. But if, you, if you're a bloody big spender, you? you can go to bigsandwich.co. You can sign up for nine US dollar dues per month and you get access to all sorts of bonus stuff. Every week we put up a new thing, whether it be a bonus podcast or an audio commentary. Um, we've got, we got there's an ad free feed for the pod, regular podcast. That's there's, right. There's, uh, there's a huge back catalog. Oh, so much stuff. Like we said, if you if we're if, away, but there to, would we're, be stuff. We're there. away, but just uh, just get some of that stuff. Yeah. But as previously mentioned, if you missed it, we put up a diehard commentary uh, on your YouTube channel, which was a lot of movies. fun. Yeah, a lot of fun. We've got t-shirts on tpublic.com. Don't we just? Just for search for the Weekly Planet. Thank you to the Brute and the Bassers and Rackham for all the musical themes. Hope everybody had a great Christmas and New Year's. Me too, actually. Right. I really hope so. Yeah. Safe, good, fun family times. Safe, good, fun family times. Don't think about how Spider-Man No Way Home is probably more responsible for COVID spread than uh, the studios are letting on. Don't think about that. <laughs> what, a, what a thing to end the year on, James. <laughs> I mean, it's doing very well somehow still. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> uh, no, it's, yeah, stay safe, though. Um, <laughs> obviously, if you can, get vaccinated. Um, don't at me saying you won't because that's, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> that's fine. You love if it you too want to much, do that. That's a problem. You I love do that love too it too much. much. Yeah. But yeah, and thank and most of all, thank you everybody so much for listening to this. Yeah, I say this too much probably, but I I think you don't say am it enough. Incredibly grateful that this is my job. I not only do I enjoy doing it, I get so much time with my family, which I would otherwise not have if I was a teacher. And more time with me. And more time with Mason also. But yeah. also, thank you so much, Mason, for everything you do. We did it again, James. You're very you're a, welcome. You're a wonderful co-host. Thank you. And I can't believe that you're quitting the show. But that's your prerogative. Yep. <laughs> Again, huge thank you to Raw Collings, who edits these every week in addition to so many things behind the scenes. Also, huge, thank- huge thanks to Ben, to Lawrence, mm. to Matthew, to Mitch for editing videos, to Maisie, to Marty, to Mason, Mason, that's you, to Fidel, <laughs> to Sarabi, who are doing, doing the admin stuff on the admin yeah, stuff yeah. as well. Just, like, this is not a one-person operation. And, of course, my wife also, who does so many things also. You thought it was a one-person operation? Yeah. Who do you think isn't real? <laughs> Tell <laughs> us. On this two-person podcast. Tell us what's going yeah. on. Yeah. So, yeah, you believe it or not, there's more people involved in this than... There you probably, can imagine. There probably should be. There's more people involved than there is <laughs> Like, it should be better sky. if there's that many people, is all I'm saying. No, I think... <laughs> I think it's nice we all have a pretty smooth ride, not doing much. Well, know? that is true. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thanks, everybody. Uh, grab that gem, you guys. We'll see you Morbius. in a few weeks more, for Morbius. Oh, yeah, watch Morbius. I mean, if you have time. Yeah. Number one priority, watch Snake Eyes. Yeah. If you haven't already. But if you watch, if you watch Snake Eyes, yep. watch, also watch Morbius. I mean, I might even watch – I'll squeak in another Snake Eyes viewing. Squeak that snake once again. <laughs> squeak that snake, everybody. That's our new catchphrase of 2022. That's the new sign-off. Squeak that snake. I like it. Me too. Goodbye, everyone. Also, grab that chip. We'll see you very soon. Bye. This podcast is part of the Planet Broadcasting Network. Visit planetbroadcasting.com for more podcasts from our great mates. I mean, if you want. It's up to you.